to misbehave. Three check-in months.
Like we're done before we even started So if this is the end now, baby Know that I gave him my all I believe in us I won't give up on you I will be holding on for life Hope you believe in us Please don't give up on me At least give me a try Cause you're the best thing, the best thing 
Hey guys, how are we? How are we? Let me say hi to everybody. Let me go through and say hi. Guys, guys, guys. Thank you for those bitties, 007. Um, and hi, Ladybug. Congrats on getting first. Hi, Fearsome. Hi, Sun Goddess. Hi, Kirsty. Hi, Blue Jay. Um, scrolling through. And thank you for the lurk, Kirsty. And Sun Goddess for a three month resub. What the heck? What the heck? Please let me know what color sticker you would like. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, your choices are orange, yellow, or pink. Orange, yellow, or pink. Um, and hi, Munchkin. Hi, Sinead. Um, and Sun Goddess, thank you for gifting a sub to Cheyenne. Thank you. It's very, very, very sweet of you. It's very, very, very sweet of you. Hi, Nana. Hi, Purple. How are we? How are we? Hi, Steph. Hi, L. Thank you for the lurk. Hi, Mejoy. Thank you for the lurk. Um, hi, K. Vogel. Hi, Christia. Uh, I think I've got... Did I get everybody? I'm coming to scrolling down, and then I'll scroll back up and rechat. Um, hi, 007. Hi, Manda. All right, and hi, In Your Dreams Girl. Hello, hello. All right, so you want to go orange. All right, we will do orange in just a second. Just a second. Um, I do need to drink stuff because I, I, I don't know. I've got this weird tickle in my in my throat today, so I'm not sure what it is. Uh, can I help you? You just got lunch. You don't get my brownies. No, those these will these will make you sick. Fine. He is so insistent. There you go on your bed. He is so insistent. Mm -mm. Um, but yes, let me go through. I did see some. I did see some conversation. I, I want to join in. I want to join in on the conversation. Um, what is everyone up to this weekend? Yes, that is a good. That is a good question. Uh, let's see. Ladybug say you have a friend coming over to cut your hair. Nice, nice. And then the rest of the weekend is going to be pretty chill. That sounds fun. Uh, okay, Vogel's going camping with family. Very fun, very fun. Sungas is working diligently. Fair. Fair. Uh, let's go through. Uh, Purple, you're moving tomorrow. Ooh. Yes, yes. Mo moving it can be fun and exciting, but it's also very draining. So make sure you enjoy the fun parts and all the bad stuff we're going to forget happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, work, uh, weekend work equals overtime. Overtime, as long as you're getting paid nice for overtime, worth it. Worth it. Um, and you have a pool at your new place. Nice purple. Nice. Nice. Um, that sounds really fun. It sounds really fun. The only house that I lived in that had a pool, it had a bean-shaped pool. I'm actually going to build that house at some point because we rented that house. So, um, and it's in a totally different state than where I am. So one of these days I'll build it and I'll show you guys my room because my room was so cool. I had a, I had a bookshelf nook inside my closet. It was the coolest thing ever. Coolest thing ever. It's one of the few houses that I remember vividly from childhood. So, yeah. Uh, you have a pretty chill day tomorrow. Plan on actually playing Sims and going to make some townies and maybe do the shell. Nice. Nice, Bex. Nice. All right. I'm almost caught up. I'm almost caught up. Okay. So, first I went to go get lunch. Um, and hi, Rob. How are you? Insistent or consistent? I'd say insistent. He's doing better. He is definitely doing better. Um, he's just being very clingy because it's storming. And I think he's picked that up from his older sister. You're okay. You're okay. I don't know what you want. You've gotten a treat. You got your um, probiotics with your wet food. You got a full cup of your digestive food today. You got four meatballs. You got to use your dog door. I don't know what else you want from me, sir. I don't know what else he wants from me. I don't know. 
Um, you work all weekend and Monday. Ooh, Rob, that sucks. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And welcome back, Pearson. Welcome back, Heisen. Welcome on in. Uh, your partner had to run an errand and picked you up in Panda Express. Nice, nice. Very nice. All right. I am officially caught up. I am officially caught up. I love that. Uh, make sure you're voting your uh, gambling in flavor of the day. I will say um, the mods and I have figured out how we're, we're going to do um, the uh, boardwalk stuff. Um, I did not get a chance to make the graphic for it, but I will make that today right after stream. Um, so basically, let me give you a rundown of that and then um, you'll just have to look for the stuff in the Discord. So if you're not in the Discord, now's the time to join. Make sure uh, it will take you about 10 minutes uh, to be able to get in to see the full server. Um, so just make sure you wait that 10 minutes and react to the rules. Um, if that still does not unlock the server, at one of the mods. So you'll be able to see the mods because they're called the Knights of the Cabana. Why they're the Knights, it was it started way back, like, I think maybe I'd been streaming for, like, maybe three months, four months. And, um, I, since I did Tiara time, they said that my, uh, we basically decided that my role in Discord should be the princess role. And that the mods are the knights because the knights are the protectors of the kingdom. So apparently it's where it's it started out as like the cabana kingdom and then just got shortened to the cabana. So yeah. But yeah, if you have any ever have any issues with trying to get anything done, just at the mods and they'll be able to help you. I can't guarantee which one will be able to answer, um, but they will. They'll some one of them will at some point. So um yeah, and I, t I typically check the Discord frequently, so I'll reply. But, alright, so... We said we were going to be doing, for the next Life on the Boardwalk, uh, we'll be doing Rainbow Sims. Um, each Sim should be based off of a different color of the rainbow. Um, so, the colors are... And remember, there's going to be stuff posted in the Discord for this, so you don't have to scramble to write it all down right now. Um, the colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, and white. So, you can make the sim based upon um, a specific color of the rainbow. Similar to the not-so-berry sims. Um, so, skin tone should still be a normal human skin tone. Um, but the, um, outfits, hair color, makeup, if they just, if you decide to give them makeup, anything like that can be, um, can be, uh, colorful. So, yes, I, I, I want to see, I want to see pretty colors on my, on my boardwalk. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can submit for every color. However, um, since there is a prize at the end, um, you'll only be able to get your sim. So, um, a creator can only have two sims total in the boardwalk final cast. Um, so you can only get two colors through. If there's a certain color that you would like more than others, that's where the voting comes in. Uh, so you can sort of champion behind your sims. Um, when you... When, when you create the Sims, though, um, please give them some sort of a backstory. Like, give them a little bit of a personality. Um, no skills. No skills, because we want them all to start fresh. So, um, fresh out of story mode. Fresh out of story mode. Um, and no occults for this, because we're just going straight rainbow. Um, when At some point, we may have occults in it, um, but that'll be under a themed version of it. And like I said, I will be putting all of this in the Discord, so that way you guys don't have to scramble to write it all down. Um, but if you would like to start making Sims, like during stream today, um, just start making rainbow Sims. Like Sims that are a specific color of the rainbow. Um, you'll upload them as individual ones. Um, and, yeah. Um, oh, that's a good question. Hmm. You know what? Let's vote on that real quick. Let's vote on the likes and dislikes. Should Boardwalk Sims have preset likes, dislikes? 
All right, so go ahead and vote in the poll. Should the Boardwalk Sims have preset likes and dislikes? So uh, one for yes, two for no. And any gender, any gender, any pronouns, anything. Does not matter. Yes, so go ahead and vote on if they should have, if you guys should be able to give them likes and dislikes. The thing with the likes and dislikes is it may give a sim um, an advantage going in. So, yes, go, go ahead and vote and tell me what, what you guys think. If you like the drama of the likes and dislikes. Um, if we do allow this, though, I will say um, the likes and dislikes can only go for activities. Um, it cannot go for things like decor. I feel like that would be a little too much. Yeah, I feel like that would be a little too much. So, um, but yes, so, all right. It looks like overwhelmingly you guys decide you want to, to be able to do that. So for this one, for this next upcoming one, I will allow it and we'll see how it goes. If we decide we don't like it, uh, then we'll take that away in the future. Does that seem fair? All right. Um, And I think though that's the main stuff. Yes. Yeah, so, um, well, yeah. And so we'll do the we'll do the voting for it the same way we did the last time. We'll we'll do the same way we did for the um, fan favorite ones. Um, yes. Yeah, so we'll do it that way. We'll we'll do it that way. Um, Rainbow Sim. So this is for the life on the boardwalk, Daenerys. Um, that is the theme of the next one is rainbow. So, uh, basically think like not so very Sims. That's the closest way to describe it. Um, but you guys can create the Sims, submit it. Um, like I said, give them a, give them a personality, give them a little bit of a backstory. Um, any gender, any pronouns, I don't, does not matter. Um, if you give them a specific, like if you give them something for that, um, Tell, like, tell us a little bit about it. Tell us a little bit about that sim. Uh, so that way we, we kind of know who they are. Um, let's see. Um, like I said, um, it's you get a maximum of two sims that can go through to the final cast um, of the boardwalk. So, um, But you can create however many you would like. There's no limit to the number you can create. There's just a limit of how many a particular creator can get through to the final to the final um, lineup, um, and that's just so it keeps it fair. Um, and also in case people, because it's this is going to be a short turnaround, because it took me a while to figure out how I wanted to do this, and then stuff happened offline that I had to take care of. Um, the life on the boardwalk is probably going to be not next week, the week after. So it'll be the week of the 17th. I'm still deciding what day of the week. It probably will be on, um, we'll probably be doing those on Wednesdays because that seems to be um, when, like, the easiest day for everybody. But we'll see. We'll see on all that. So don't don't hold me to that. Um, and, yes, and then just hold on to them, um, and I will give you guys the official um tag to upload them to the gallery after stream once i do the whole thing for it so but you guys can go ahead and get started by making rainbow sims um hair color everything like that um that can match the color um but just like i said normal human skin tones please so yes also when we were going through and tossing around um the hashtags for the gallery the word brownies kept popping up, so because of that, and you can blame the mods, I have brownies. And I'm very excited for my brownies. Yes. It's a brownie. Mm -hmm. Yes, brownies. Also, Apollo wants my brownies, and he cannot have it because um, brownies are and chocolate are toxic to dogs. Please, please do not give your dogs chocolate. Um, they can have, um, there's a chocolate substitute that is okay for them, but make sure it is the substitute, not the actual chocolate. Please don't. Yes, um, so these are the edges 
the center is a little bit is a little bit better so yes um so no they would have to each be individual colors individual colors that's that's what we're going for for this one we considered doing ones with all the rainbow colors and just like voting on that um but i think it would be fun to kind of have one of each color and so that way when they're lined up um they're all colors of the rainbow in a like all lined up i i think of weird things like that that's all it is um and yes it is my, why it's false mostly yes yes it is why it's false mostly so blame the wyatt carob chips yes carob chips so that is the chocolate substitute mm-hmm Yes, yes. So I have that. I also have my pretzels and I have my drink and I'm very happy today. So, oh, also too, I did go ahead and add the uh, coffee goal to the screen right here. Um, if you want to know more about that, it's just exclamation point P.O. box. Um, but please know it is not required. It is, this is if you guys would rather me get a P.O. box now instead of wait until around Christmas. So, yes, that, that. That should give you all the information for that. Um, but I think that's all, like, the main stuff I have for you guys today. I don't think I have anything else. I may have to get up and turn the air off here semi-soon. Um, because I'm kind of getting a little chilly. But apart from that, yeah. It's raining. Um, the big stormy stuff's over. So, hopefully we don't lose power. I was flickering earlier. Hopefully not, but we'll see. We'll see. So, all right. Um, are we ready to hop in to do some bingo? And hi, Dani. How are you? How are you? How are you? I hope your day is going wonderful. But, uh, let's see. O slash or um, wave if you're ready for bingo. Oh, wait, no, we need to do flavor of the day first. I was so busy drinking my drink. I forgot about flavor of the day. I forgot about that. So, okay. Pause. Sips. We're doing sips now. Sips first, then waves. Um, you're doing great. It's, uh, it's blah, 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 words. Um, you're doing great. It's Friday. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm having a, a, a good day. I have brownies. Yes, I, ha I have brownies, so I'm very happy. But all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let us see. Okay. The flavor of the day for today. Ooh. All right, all right. Well, okay, so the flavor of the day. 67% of you said blue, 33% said pink. All right, the flavor of the day today is dun dun da. It is blue. It is breezeberry. It is breezeberry. So let's see who got it correct today. All right, let's see who got the most back. Nana. Gambling of 4,262, getting back 6,322. Noise, noise, noise. I will say um, that I grabbed the wrong one first thing, this like right when stream started. And I realized it when I looked at how many, uh, like at, I looked at the poll, at the prediction. Um, I walked away, came back with the drink, looked at the prediction because I still had it up. And this was before, like, most people voted. So, like, it was not swayed at all. Um, and I had to go back and get a different one. <laughs> so today's was supposed to be purple, but I, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Um, but, yes. And hi, ETG. How are you? How's your day going? How's your day going? So, yes. It was supposed to be purple, but I went for blue because it was the closest one. I went for the closest one. So, all righty. Um, let us see. Let us see. I think it is time for bingo. I think it's time for bingo. All right. Where's my bingo? 
Uh, it's very warm. Nice, nice. I'm doing good. It is rainy and stormy and kind of ew. So hopefully that gets better. All right, bingo time, bingo time. If you have not grabbed your bingo card with us, or if you not, words. If you have never played bingo with us before, or it's just been a really long time since you've played bingo, um, it is very simple. All that you have to do is hover over the screen. Over to this side, it'll be a pop-up that says live bingo. You will click that, click grab your free card. Everybody gets one free card. You can get additional cards. They are 200 biddies a piece, up to six uh, extra cards for a total of seven, I believe. And... Um, if you are on mobile, it'll be at the top right of your chat just below the stream. So, you do not have to dob anything on your own. It will auto dob for you. And if you get a bingo, it will appear at the bottom of your card. All you have to do is click bingo and it will send it over to me. And that's how you win. So, yeah. All right. Are we ready? If we are ready, I see Fearsome's getting a head start and already banning bingo. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. All right, if we are ready, we'll go ahead and get started. Ooh, Zinid, you're the, you're the chosen one. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Let's see. We have a Kangas Khan. Meowth. Lickitung. Geodude. Jigglypuff. Now, this is a Mackie. If you have a Mackie emote, please put a Mackie emote. I always forget what her what her thing is. If you have a Mackie emote, go ahead and put a Mackie emote in chat because that is Mackie. There we go. There we go. I always forget that her that her emotes are Plum Bob. I always forget it. I always forget. And then I'm always like, I don't see it. Pidgey. Chansey. Drowsy. Starmie. Zapdos. You have Emo, Wyatt, Squirtle, and Potato. Nice. Arcanine. Machop. Slowpoke, Pinsir, Ditto, Porygon, Ammonite, the Wyatt, so pet the Wyatt. If you do not have the Wyatt, you can do exclamation point pet in chat and it will pet the Wyatt for you. He's not here right now, so we can pet him all we want. Eevee. Lapras, Onyx, Psyduck, Blastoise, Bulbasaur, Gengar, Abra, Ivysaur, Hitmonlee, Weezing, Oh, we got a bingo. Nice. Nice. Coda Bear. Nice. 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 All right. All right. We will give it a second to see if anybody else gets a bingo. And if you've been here while, well, you know the rules. If you were one away, put a root in chat. If you were two or more away, put a ban or a bop in a chat. If you do not have either of those, you can just say rude or, um, oh, the bop is a global email. Just do exclamation point, not exclamation point. Just do, uh, B-O-P. Uh, capital B, though. Yeah, that, that is, that, that is a global emote. Um, but yes, you can do the, you can do a bop, or you can just type the word rude in chat if you were one away. So, and as always, we are not saying rude or banning or bopping the winner. It is towards the game. Uh, we applaud the winner. So, ooh, uh, oh, all of them are capital. Good to know, all of them are capital. Alrighty, 
It looks like Akota Bear, you are the only winner today. Congrats, congrats, congrats. That is fantastic. So, on the leaderboard, that puts you in fourth. Very nice, very nice. Very, very, very nice. All right, can we give them a round of applause? Can we give them a big, big, big round of applause? As I add you to my list. All right, all right. I do need to pull up the... There we go. All right, let's go back to here while the game is loading. But thank you, thank you for that, guys. Thank you. Always love starting off the bingo with, um, yeah, with, with you guys. Oh, always love starting off the stream with, the, with you guys for bingo. So, all right, we have got, we've got, let's see. So, we've got to, today for... The orange gin. We first and foremost need to get pregnant. And hi, Sherry Jays. How are you? Welcome on in. I hope your day is going fantastic. Of course, you can hang out with us. Thank you for reminding me to take a drink, Miss Emily. I got to drink my Coke kind of quick because um, I dropped the uh, lid on the floor, which is sad. Very sad. So, if it decides it wants to load, that'd be wonderful. I will start Friday off by singing. Don't test me, Sims. I will do it. Thank you. One or more creative sims. I have my CC installed, don't I? Oh, no. That's, I took the Christmas ones out, didn't I? Hold on. Yeah, it's just Christmas related. That's fine. We don't need it. We don't need it. So, all right. I will be adding this to the... Oh, I meant... I was going to say I needed to finish this, but I forgot we, we had finished it. Let me... Well, I'll... I'll do this real quick and then I will yeah then then we'll we'll upload it I think yeah oh uh, we need a rug for here but I want to make it orange orange honestly though the oranges in this game are kind of lit I wish I was lying but they're kind of black Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Is there a less... I may just forego that. I may just forego that because those are kind of... Not the greatest. Yeah, those are kind of not the greatest. I like that, though. We're going to stick that right there. Oh, no, that's right. I was We were going to decorate according to her style. That's what it was. That's what it was. We were going to decorate according to her style. There we go. All right, we'll, uh, we'll do that later. We'll do that later then. All right. I still laugh at this pink room. Because all I can think about is Taz going, Pink Room! I, it, it makes me giggle. Uh, you said, Jake, can your streams make your workday so much better? Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, you love watching while working, and hopefully when you get moved to your house, you want to start the Elemental Legacy Challenge. Yes, I highly recommend it. It is a lot of fun. Um, I've been doing some research, and I think I figured out what we were doing wrong with the um, vet clinic. Um, so hopefully, um, I believe we're back to it on Tuesday. Hopefully then we can get this, we can get like skyrocket our, our stuff up to the next level. 
So I think I figured out what we were doing wrong. So yes, but because I think that's the only thing and one feather that we have to do for that generation, which is nice. Very nice, very nice. So, all right. Um, I I think we need to just like I think we need to risky woohoo again. Yeah, I I feel like we need to risky woohoo again, guys. He works in five hours, so I mean they might as well spend the rest of their um time together risky woohooing. Why not? Why not? I think it'd be fun. Oh wait, they have they now have a sentiment together. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What's the sentiment? Deeply connected. All right. All right. I mean, like why not, guys? Why not risky woohoo? I mean, at this point, we're just going to risky woohoo until um, she gets pregnant. Yeah, very true. Get their social and their fun up. Freddy wants us to come hang up. No, Freddy. We're busy. We super busy. We, oh, no. Okay. We getting busy. Yeah, we, we getting busy. Okie doke. So, since they're off doing that and having fun, I feel like Scar needs to bake now. Okay, no. So, since I have I have brownies, he's going to make some brownies. Yep, since since I have brownies, um uh, He's going to go make brownies. Yes. So, um. Excuse me? Who said you could show up here? Get out. Get out of my house. Who said you could show up here? I will delete you from existence. Uh, go away. Hi, Sam. I know the way they all just walked in as a group. Hold on. We're getting rid of self-sufficiency. That's what's doing it. No, we're getting rid of self-sufficiency. Uh, you have a test in 15 minutes but want to be lurky? I, yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Send, yeah, sending all the good vibes for the test. Can we get some yeets in chat? Because that is Sam's emote. All right. So let's go with Foodies Unite. Yeah, let's go with Foodies Unite instead. Yeah, fo Foodies Unite sounds like it should work. Yep. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yes, let, let us send let us send all the good vibes. Uh, write another research paper. He's busy. He's making me brownies. All right, make some more brownies. No, instead of brownies, let's go with. Okay, no, you're making another thing of brownies. That works. That works. You cannot brownie, you must diet. I should, but um, blame mods because brownies. Mm hmm No, Holly. No, absolutely not. You're not coming in my house. 
We are busy. We, we are busy. Now you're showing up? What's cooking looking so great in the hallway? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You absolutely not. Um, the gift set was because you lost five. Oh, I'm so glad you lost that. Um, but thank you for that. That's very sweet of you. It's very sweet of you. I probably should do something to hold myself like, accountable of like rebuilding muscle mass. Um,. But attention span. That's the thing that keeps me from, like, sticking to a diet or anything else is the attention span. Because I forget. And then I'm like, well, I forgot. So I'm basically starting all over. <laughs> Alright, do that. And then... You can make sweet potato pie! I guess you don't want to be disturbed. What gave you that idea? What gave you that idea? We're busy. Go away. Thank you. Oh, oh wait. We forgot to check. Is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Let's find out. She is not. Well, we're just going to have to keep trying. Um, you want to do a round of Yeet Olympics real quick? All right, all right. Since you have to go to your test in a moment, um, we'll we'll do that. We'll we'll get Yeet, Yeet Olympics started. So, All right, all right. Let me save real quick. Cuz we did up two skills, so we don't want to lose that. But all right, just just cuz you have to go to your test. Just because you have to go to your test. Uh, I think it's marbles. Yes, marbles. No, I, well, you have to go to your test soon. So I'll let you enjoy some of it. I'll let you enjoy some of it. All right, guys. Do exclamation point vote space a number um, anywhere from 4 to 61. So it could be like vote. I don't know. Vote space 50 or vote space 27. Something like that. So whichever two maps get the most votes in the next minute um, are the two that we will do. And yes, yeah, so I do have a creator code with marbles now. Um, so if you purchase any coins um, by using the link that is in chat, it does give me a small commission for it. Um... And you also get some really cool stuff if you go into the um, the shop area. And I'll show you because I did do some customization. So, all right. I'm going to close it off in five, four, three, two, one. All right. Let's see which one's one. Let's see which one's one. And remember, the top three that, can, that win the Grand Prix... Um, are going to do this. All right. So, um, ex, uh, exclamation point play space. One. Okay. So there's new ways to do this. So if you want the everyone marble, do exclamation point play. If you want the subscriber mo model, you'll do exclamation points play space two, I believe. I believe is how you do it. Other, it may now automatically bring it up for you. Um, but instead of the white marbles, we now have fun marbles. We now have fun marbles. It was totally worth the five bucks. Totally worth the five bucks. So, I know, I know. So, if you are a, not a subscriber, um, you will get... Um, a fruity one. Um, if you are a subscriber, you will get a um, a sun one. It's got a little sun on it. I know. Yes, 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 yes. So, all right. We'll go ahead and we will count down. Um, has everybody got their marbles in? Has everyone got their marbles in? 
If so, all right, then we'll count down. Um. Yep, okay, so. And we will start it in five, four, three, two, one. Start. All right, so it looks like Siren Song has the record. If you are able to come in first and beat Siren Song's record, you will get 5,000 popcorn. All right, let's take a look and see. Um, and to find Siren Song, find where the ghost marble is, it's the one that has a box next to it. All right, so if we come and take a look, look at these cute marbles. They have suns on them. We also have, okay, so it looks like we've got... Oh, I came too close on that. Okay, so we've got different colored ones. So you're a fruit, some sort of fruit. Um, now, if you do purchase skins for yourself as a viewer, um, that skin will override whatever skin I set for us. So you will still have your own skins. But yes, all right. All right, let's go and see who's going to come forward. Ooh, Sam coming in first. Okay, okay. Then we have Cheyenne, Daenerys, me, uh, Fire Phoenix, Fearsome, Siren Sung. Um, okay, all right, all right. Let's see. Sam! Sam's being a little Sonic the Hedgehog. Speeding along through. Now, here comes the interesting part. This is the part that will trip you up. Will you get through in the same order that which you entered? All right, let's see. Sam's coming in. Sam's coming in. Ooh, oh, oh. Okay, this is a catch-all basin. Ooh, Sam, it's you and me, you and me. Okay, oh, nope, Fire Phoenix came forward. Um, But if you look at my marble, I've got a little trail on top. It's so cute. I, I spent too much time playing in the store. Uh-oh, Sam. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <gasps> no! We lost Fire Phoenix. Oh, no! Oh, no! But here comes Purple. Scooting on through, scooting on through. Okay. Okay, Purple, you've got to hold this lead. You've got to hold the lead. Uh, no, Sam, you're in third. You're in third now. You're in third. They are definitely moving through. They're definitely moving through. But okay. Ooh, purple. You have narrowly avoided the yeet field. Okay. 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 On uh, purple, you took the smart route because you passed the swirler. You're just coming straight down. Okay, but you have to be careful. You got to be careful of this. Make sure that you fall into the right area. Um, because there are yeeters at the end. All right. No! We just lost it yet. No! All right. Sam has kicked me out of the way, but Purple's still going strong. Come on, Purple. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You're so close. You're so close. Come on, Purple. Come on. You're so close to setting the new record. Come on. Come on. And you did it! Congrats! Congrats! Alright, so we'll look at them as they come down. So, we've got Daenerys coming down. Oh, no! And we've got Bex. Uh, Dany recovered! No, Bex died? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! F's! Alright, so we've got, as you see, there comes Nana, Cheyenne, in your dreams, Munchkin, uh, Katros. All right, who's in? Where's the Muncher by chance? I don't see the Muncher. We might be safe. We might be safe. We were safe. Okay. All right. So, Purple, you have, you have a beat the record. So this means that you get. You get 5,000 popcorn for that. All right. So as it stands right now, we have Purple, Sam, me, then Daenerys, Amanda, Steph, Danny, Nana, Cheyenne, In Your Dreams, Girl, Munchkin, Katros, uh, Double Seven, Sweet Spy, 
Allie, um, Ladybug, Miss Emily, Blue Jay, and Sun Goddess. And then can we get all the little rippies in chat for Fearsome, Sinead, and Fyra, all of which were yeeted from the map. It's so sad. So sad. Thank you for the little rippies. All right, so let's go to the next one. Off the rails one, okay. All right, exclamation point play in chat. Exclamation point play in chat. All right, get your exclamation point plays in chat and we'll get your marbles in. These are this. I love the new marbles. I love the new marble skins. They were so totally worth it. So totally, totally worth it. All right. Okie doke. Does everybody have their marbles in? Is everybody in and ready to go? I think we are. All right. So I will do a countdown and then we'll get started. So five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. Let's start. All right, let's see. I don't remember this one off the top of my head, so we'll take a quick look. Oh, this is the rainbow one. Oh, this one's a very interesting one. This one's a very interesting one. All right, so who is going to come out on top? Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, who's coming through? It looks like Daenerys and Munchkin are taking the quick lead. All right, all right. Let's see, can you hold it though? Munchkin has the best chance at the moment. Um, but here comes Daenerys as well. Oh, Munchkin. Munchkin, look at you go. All right, did anybody? Oh no, <gasps> Cynthia did take the, the speed route. I have never seen anyone take the speed route before. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Oh, Munchkin, you were so close. All right. We're gonna, oh, oh, oh. Recover, you two, recover. Okay, okay, okay. Is Cheyenne gonna do it? Is Cheyenne gonna do it? And Cheyenne does it! Nice! And we lost Munchkin! Oh no! Okay, okay. Come on, Sinead, you can do it. You can do it. Don't don't lose momentum. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it! Alright. Ladybug! Uh ETG and Native Angel. Come on, you guys can do it. <gasps> no! No! We're losing them! We're losing them! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh dear! Oh dear! Um, in your dreams, girl. In your dreams, girl. Um, please hurry! Please hurry! Please hurry! Oh, all of you guys! Oh my god! Okay! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! They're all gone! They're all gone! Oh the horror! The sadness! The horror! Oh no, but Cheyenne Angel, congratulations, congratulations, you have won. Um, and Kate Rose, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. All right. Um, since my marble did not die, um, this is going to be very interesting to see the Grand Prix. So... 
Alright, all the hype for Cheyenne coming in. First of all, I sent in Ladybug, Native Angel, then me, then Steph, then Danny, then Miss Emily, Blue, Blue Jay, Polychris, Sam, Daenerys, Nana, Katros, and Fyra. And then all the little rippies for Amanda, Purple, In Your Dreams, Girl, Sun Goddess, Ali, uh, Fearsome, ETG, and Munchkin. Alright, it's time to find out. Time to find out what, what happened. All right, in third place is Cinead, okay. Second place is Purple. And first place is Cheyenne. Okay, okay. All right, so the top three get additional popcorn for that. I thought mine was going to be much higher. I was really afraid that... I was really afraid that mine was going to be in the top three and it was going to be a rigged pre. All right, well... Congratulations, congratulations to all of you. If we could get a huge... Huge round of applause and massive congrats for all of them. That is amazing. Congrats, congrats. Um, and Nina Time, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Welcome on in, welcome on in. And hi, Slu. Thank you for the host. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you to all of you guys for the host. Uh, Blue Jay, Nana, Mrs. Boone fam. Um... Cindy Edson, uh, Steph, Slew, Fearsome, L, Kirsty. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. All right. All right. Let's see. Um, and Fire Phoenix, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Welcome in. All right. So, massive round of applause. Thank you, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. We always love doing a round of Yeet Olympics. All right. And there we go. I, I don't know what's taking this so long to reset, but it works. It works. Um, so, yes. So, if you use, uh, if you do exclamation point marbles, that does give you the um, link to my marbles code. Uh, you can get a bunch of fun things like streamer effects, like what I had on my marble, um, or one of the skins that change your marbles color. Uh, they just all look really, really cool. So, yes. Thank you, Bex. All righty. All righty. So, since she's not pregnant, does he need to eat still or does he need to sleep? Well, go nap. How long do we want to wait before we actively do try for baby? How long do we want to wait? Uh, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. I was I was skeptical on on if I would like it or not, um, because I was like I'm not a big fan of the color orange. Um, it'll take a week if we go by her cycle, uh, because her next fertile day was. She's on her period right now. That's that's the problem. Um. Yeah, so this was as of Thursday in game. Um, the next most fertile cycle, most fertile day is coming up in six days. So that was Thursday. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it would be Wednesday of the next week would be when she would have her most fertile day. Orange is a hard color to pull off, but you use it really well. Thank you. Yeah, I tried to... I didn't want to go, like, overboard, so I kind of tried to mix in browns with the orange because brown is sort of like an extension of the orange color. Um, so, yeah. I tried. I'm, I'm glad it works better. I'm glad it works better. Okay, so if she isn't pregnant by Wednesday, we'll try for a baby. Okay, that's fair. I don't, I don't know. I, I've no, I haven't played with Wonderful Whims in so long that I don't know how it, how it all goes. But they literally just got married, so. 
I mean, I do. It does sort of mimic real life. You, it's very, very rare for someone to get pregnant just straight after like they start trying. I get it. I get it. Wait, what are you upset about? Oh, noisy neighbors. Are they being noisy? <gasps> oh, those two. Wait, those two are the noisy ones. Oh, so you mean Mabel and Holly are throwing a rave and they didn't invite Fiona? <gasps> the tea. The scandal. Oh, they must really be salty. They must really be salty. I love it, though. Knock again. Are they seriously ignoring us? All right, so this is the third time. I'm pounding on the door. Is no one going to come to the door? Oh, no. The rodent bit her. Hi, Bex. Are you like when Legacy Sims have babies younger so they can be in the life of the generation? Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping for. All right. Pound on the door. Is there a way to file a complaint? Pound on the door again. She literally walked out. Are you serious? All right. How do I get them to be quiet? You know what? I give up. I give up. But, um, we just got, she got bit by the rodent. So, um, we need to research rabid rodent fever really quick. It doesn't look like we have it, but, um, we probably should research it anyway just to be on the safe side. Filled with treats and scritches, Hammy has succumbed to old age and passed away. That's so sad, guys. That's a, that's so sad. Put put some rips in chat. That that that's so sad. F's for F's for Hammy. F's for Hammy. I mean, we'll have to get another. We'll have to get another another rodent here soon, but why can't I knock on the doors? Because no one answered us. That's rude. That's rude. But that's so sad. I don't want to get another one right now. Why can't I talk to them? 
I literally cannot sleep because they're so noisy. That's, that's frustrating. That is so frustrating. I want to sleep! Let me sleep! Yeah, that would be something. Especially because you can't even click on their door right now. Oh, that's right. Oh, see, now they stopped. All right, we'll go to sleep now. Yeah, go go to sleep. I yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But in the meantime, I'm going to have one of my brownies. Yummy. I don't know why we're not getting promoted. We should get promoted. Oh, we're already at level 6. I didn't know we were at a level 6. I didn't realize we were considered a boss. Cool. And thank you, OG Fufu. Thank you. I will be uploading it to the gallery today. Um, I forgot we finished this kiddo area. So I will be uploading it today. All right, 636. That's not a lot, but it's not the worst. And he's sore from work. Wait, what is your handiness skill at, by the way? Level 6. Oh, you can fix the bed up. Yeah, once you, once you all wake up, you can fix the bed. All right, get leftovers. Oh, no, I don't want you to do only brownies. No. Here, make salads to balance the brownies. Yeah, make salads to balance the brownies. Yes, let's let's do that. Let's do that. Double stand. No. I'm not saying it's double standard. I just, I haven't had brownies in months. What the heck? Um, and S. Connie, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Welcome on in. Also, Sims gain weight disproportionately to how, like, actual humans gain weight. I had a sandwich. And I have pretzels, and I have brownies. Yeah, I, it's food. Granted, the sandwich tasted a bit odd, but, I mean, tomato, tomato. Strongly suspects Bella is eating the brownie as a meal instead as of a desert after a proper meal and browning. I had a sandwich. And sounds good, thank God, it sounds good. A Subway sandwich would sound good, yes. It would sound good. Um, no, I just had a regular cold cut sandwich, that's all. Nothing, nothing fancy. Yeah, it was just, uh, cold cuts, that's all it was. Wasn't anything big. Yeah, I heard Subway had new sandwiches. Has anybody tried the new sandwiches? Are they worth the hype that Subway's been giving them? That's the question. Is, are they worth the hype? What do you need? Work in two days. She's already excellent. All right, that works. You haven't, but you're interested. I, so the subway by me, I kind of tend to avoid because I used to work there and I'm not a fan of the owner. Um, but yeah. Oh, uh, you just picked up subway. Okay. The new sandwiches look good, but you're a creature of habit. Uh, yeah, same, same. Uh, double seven, no. One sandwich is a full meal. No, 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 no. That's like, no. For most, for like 95% of the population, a sandwich is a full meal. Yes. No, say it's half a meal. No. No. If you're eating, if you're eating in a portion control, like, 
accurate portions. A sandwich is a full meal. Yes. Uh, maybe you'll have to go for dinner. Please do. If you guys try the new sandwiches, let us know in the Discord and um, t uh, put a picture of it so that way we know what they look like. All right. All right. Eradicate, please. Obl oh, obliterate. I'm sorry. Obliterate. Uh, you had grilled cheese, a side salad, and a tiny bit of tomato soup. How? That's a lot of food. I, I wouldn't be able to have anything more than, like, a sandwich and maybe a little bit of soup on the side. But I could not do both. A half sandwich and a, and a soup. Yes, I could do that. Uh, but not a full sandwich. That's a lot of food. Obliterate the dang thing. Thank you. You ate a lot yesterday. It sounds like it. Obliterate again. Why are you not... Obliterate. Why are you not getting rid of the rats? These are not the fun rats. Uh, you just had a gyro for lunch? Nice. Nice. Uh, this apartment with the restaurants, you say, I know, right, Haley? So, not only does this have... There we go. Not only does this have two rat holes. So, there's one hidden under the bed here and there's one here. Um, but there's also, in this area, you can get cockroaches. Um, the um, pipes like to, like, leak. And the power likes to go out. And then over here in this corner, in this corner, there's a rotten smell that keeps popping up. And it's, it's, I don't recommend, I don't recommend. They're just, they're not fun. I'm kind of regretting choosing this apartment um, because the other apartment has um, a dead body outline in it. And I think that'd be really cool. But I didn't realize that we picked the wrong one. So, uh, you had a fry for a brunch. Um, so are you, like, uh, you went to a, like, fry, like, a fried, sa like, fried something sandwich or something like that? Um, is there a way to, like, fix it, fix it? Unfortunately, no, it is a lot trait. So, it is the needs TLC lot trait. Um, and the needs TLC lot trait means that things... Weird things happen. So, like, you need to fix it, that sort of thing. Which actually... Um, and Agata, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Uh, thank, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me start over. Agata, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Welcome in, welcome in. I was such a shame because you love the high walls. I agree, I agree. So, it has the needs lot trait, but you know what? I have, I have custom lot traits. Let's see. Let's see. What, what can we add in here? What can we add in here? Can I do any? Most of these are like non. No, I can't. Wait, are they now considered lot challenges? Oh, possessed grounds. Yeah, that's one of them. Um, let's see. Uh, so basically I have alien landing zone. Um, I have a crafter's corner right here. I have graveyard. Um, indoor pool. Merfolk Cove. Modern art gallery and movie theater. Um, let's see. Then there's also a wedding venue on here. So, yeah, these are all CC lot traits. Man, I can't add anything like that. That'd be kind of cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. Um, yes, the outline also smells. That is very true. That is very true. Um, and, yes, that comes with city living. It comes with city living. Mm-hmm. Uh, your local fairs in town, they have a food truck there that always has amazing gyros. Yes, so in my area, we we do have a food truck of sorts. Um, 
but they only have it like during a specific time of year and they have the best turkey legs like they're so worth the money they're amazing if you have not had a turkey leg you're missing out they're delicious they are so delicious i love it blizzards oh wait okay hold on you had cereal for breakfast a burger patty and a small bag of chips a small blizzard from dairy queen uh hold up hold up what flavor blizzard popcorn at the movie and then grilled cheese a side salad and a tiny bit of tomato soup for dinner with two ciders you were hungry yesterday like that's enough to feed me for a week oh wow that that's a lot Oh, there's a new one. Caramel cheesecake. Ooh. I, I'm i a creature of habit. I always get the cookies and cream blizzard. Yeah, I always get the cookies and cream blizzard. It's so good, though. I used to be able to eat a large. I can't. I'm lucky to eat a medium. Yes, we talk about food a lot here. Just a forewarning. We talk about food a lot. That's why even, like, my go live message is telling people to grab snacks and drinks and such. So, um, yeah, we, food, food's a necessity. Food's a necessity. Um, tonight you're making barbecue beef tips, roasted corn on the cob, and a salad. Okay, so, um, how much would it cost for me to hire you to feed me? Because, damn. Because, damn. Um... You go through spurts of not eating much in the summer, for, so when you finally do have an appetite, you eat. That is fair. That is definitely fair. All right, well, um, there's really not much for you to do. I don't really know what to have her do, though. That's kind of the problem. Because she hasn't been to work, so I don't know what she needs to do. Do you even need to eat? You don't need to eat. No, you're not doing that. You don't need to do that. Come here and... Because you have to max your... So he has to max his baking and charisma skills. Um, And he's already maxed his mischief skills. So charisma is kind of the long run, long game thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, before we do that, upgrade. Oh, we've already done that. Never mind. Continue your speech. Sorry to bother you. Um, your husband already gave you his order for dinner. He wants nachos, queso, and flan. Ooh, nachos! Okay, but like, so... This is gonna sound really weird. This is gonna sound really weird. Um, but I found the best nachos that I ever had. The best nachos I ever had out and about. Um, was a toss-up. Between Cheesecake Factory. No, actually, it was Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, it was Cheesecake Factory. They had the best nachos I had ever had. Like, I don't know. I don't remember what all they have on their nachos, but it was so good. Like, we had the nachos, and then we had to take three quarters of our meal home because we were so full. It, it, but it was delicious so good like it was just the right amount of spicy and cheesy but it was like super cheese and I was amazed that a Americanized Italian restaurant would be able to do something like that yeah they they listed it as an appetizer but it was a shareable appetizer So naturally we got it and uh, we didn't realize that the shareable appetizers are meant to be shared between three to four people. I um, mean, it was just the two of us. So yeah, we learned our lesson. We definitely learned our lesson, but it was so good. Uh, one of your dads brought scratch made flan to his birthday party a few weeks ago. I don't think I've ever had flan. Now that I think about it, or if I have, it's been years. It's definitely been years. Um, but yeah, it's always in the most odd places that you find the really good stuff. And, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, their nachos are okay. 
Um, but I had to have them bring stuff like sour cream. I always have to have them put it on the side. Uh, because they smother it in sour cream and then it takes away the flavor. Like they, like they are one of those places that puts way too much sour cream on stuff. I understand sometimes you need it to balance out the heat and the spice, uh, but moderation, please. And hi, Pine Crossing. How are you? Welcome on in. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We are talking about food. Then you just add more hot sauce. But see, here's the thing. They usually, like, they, one that I went to, they would make it according to whatever spice level you requested, but they wouldn't bring you extra spice stuff to balance it out. So it was, yeah, it just, it wasn't, wasn't worth it. You don't recall there being sour cream on the tater tot nachos? They may have changed it. It has been, when did I stop working at Amazon? So I stopped working there in 18. So it probably would have been 2017 was when I stopped going to, to B-dubs. Because I used to go once a week. It was, I was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Um... So yeah, it was probably 2017 was when I stopped going. So um, they may have changed their stuff since then. I hope so. Um, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Buffalo Wild Wings, you get all sauce on the side after learning your lesson. Yes. I tell. I would always tell them light sauce um, or sauce on the side. Because they either, they drown it in it. So like you can't taste anything but that sauce. And I'm like, it, th then there's no point. The sauces and spices are meant to accentuate and enhance the food, not override it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one of these must go. <gasps> How dare! How dare! How dare! How dare! Dare! Rude! Absolutely rude! How dare! I, the betrayal! Ah! The absolute betrayal. I'm gonna go cry. I'm gonna go sit here, eat my pretzels, and cry. Mwah! Uh, you would get their wings on half price night and eat like kings? Yes. Yes, absolutely. A half price night was the best. It was the best. Mm hmm. Uh, you don't like wings now if you classify boneless as a wing, then choice is wrong. So the boneless wings, I think, are like a. Those, I see those as a fancy chicken nugget. I see those as a fancy chicken nugget. Um, but yeah, at a hot pocket. So, um, think of a calzone, but it's a, but it's like half the size of a calzone. Um, it's a, it's a, basically it's a rectangle. Um, and it's got, it's like a, it's a pastry. Um, on the outside, but it's like a, um, a bready pastry. So similar to pizza crust. Um, and then on the inside, there is a filling. Um, and the filling will depend. Um, it varies. You can have a breakfast filling. Um, you can have like, there's like ham and cheese. There's, um, pepperoni pizza. I've even seen like, um, chicken Alfredo sauce and that's in, that in there. Um, but yeah, it's basically just like a handheld, um, version of a calzone. That's basically the best way to describe it. I did the lot of you. Uh, no, you guys are so mean. <laughs> the poor hot pockets. They are amazing. They are delicious. They deserve to be protected at all costs. Mm-mm. The hot pocket slander going on in my chat right now. Um, and Haley, I personally love the hot pockets. Um, I can only eat one version of them, but I love them and I eat them daily. And this is why 
they are making fun of Hot Pockets. Yes, they are making fun of Hot Pockets. You didn't expect the poll to go this way? I, I looked at it immediately and I knew exactly. I watched it explode upward for Hot Pockets. And I was very sad. No, and that is fair. That is fair. That is fair. So here, let me see if I can find a Hot Pocket to show our non-US friends. Hot Pocket. Let me find the one that I eat. So that way you guys can see what it is. Oh, they have a steak and cheddar one. Oh, where is it? Okay, so we'll we'll go with we'll go with this. If I can find one that isn't blurry. Here we go. This is this is a decent one. All right. Open image in new tab. Let me save it. And then I can show you guys. All right. All right. Pause this for a sec. Let me show you guys what a hot pocket looks like. All right. Hot pocket. All right. So this is a hot pocket. There you go. This is the hot pocket. Uh, so it goes in the microwave. You can put it in the air fryer. I've been seeing a lot of people say try in the air fryer. I have not tried it in the air fryer. Um, but this is a hot pocket. This is the one that I eat. I only eat this one. Um, cause I can't have too much garlic. Um, and most of the, um, most of the versions that they have of this, um, are very garlicky, like over the top garlicky. So I just can't have them. Um, but yeah, these are hot pockets. And they're closed on both sides and you have to bite into it uh, in order to like get to the filling. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like on the inside and they are so good. They are so good. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure what a pizza pop is. I'm Now I have to look this up. Pizza pop. Oh, yes, it looks very, very, it's very, very similar to that. Yes. Yes, it is, it is, um, very similar to that. Uh, the only difference is that, uh, is the shape. Really, that, in that, that's the only difference is the shape. Mm hmm But yeah, no, they're so good. I love them. Um, the mods troll me as as Bex is doing right now. Rude. My poor Hot Pockets. They, they do not deserve this slander. And hi, Faye. How are you? I do not go overboard. I do not go overboard. They're right those say they're right there. Thank you. Um, and the short brunette, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Welcome on in. I never said they were healthy. I've never made that claim. I know they're not healthy. I know they aren't, but they're delicious. I used to work for a company that made stromboli. Same concept. Yes, it is a very similar concept, yes. Well, I mean, they're delicious. And I only eat certain things, so, I mean, yeah. I do eventually get bored of them, though. I, I will say that. I do eventually get bored of them. And then I'll go, like, two, three weeks and won't eat them at all. Or, like, won't even think about purchasing them. It works. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Maybe. It's, like, right there. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, do I have allergies? So, I don't know for sure. I have sensitivities. Um, but the only allergy that I know of is to a specific, um, medicine. 
So, um... Oh, that's disgusting. It just ran over her foot. Um, can you, like, stop talking to her and obliterate the, the, the mouse hole, please? Scar. Uh, Scar, what are, what are you doing, sir? Scar. Fix. Obliterate the mouse hole, please. Or rat hole. Whatever we're calling it. Oh my gosh, there's another pole. Ooh. Have hiccups for an hour. Would you rather sneeze for an hour or have hiccups for an hour? I would rather have hiccups for an hour. Finally. I was going to say, did, did you not? Okay. Get leftovers. I was going to say, if you try to eat a brownie scar, I'm over you. I'm over you. Um, but yeah, so I know I have food sensitivities to shrimp and garlic. Um, but I don't know if I could classify them as allergies per se. Now, if you ask me if there's stuff I don't like, it's safer for me to tell you the things that I do like. It's safer for me to tell you the things I do like. Um, yeah, yeah, so the, the mods have a list of food that I will eat. Um, yeah, it, it literally tells, if, if you look at, if you, if I ever showed the, um, breakdown of the foods that I will eat, oh, y'all, y'all would roast me over the coals, y'all would roast me. Basically, I will say, like, any of the sauces that you add to, like, basically anything, um, it's going to be a no unless it's ketchup. Yeah, it, it'll be a no unless it's ketchup. That's, that's the best way to say it. That's the best way to put it. Um, essentially, assume I will not eat it. Yeah. Um... Cheeses, I'll only eat like five cheeses. Oh, I will not. No, I will not eat ranch. I will not eat ranch. No, absolutely not. No. If it has mayo in it at all, there is not a chance that I will eat it. Not a chance. I, I like. I'm very, 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 very picky. Like even there's certain things. That, like even the brand. Of something I will not eat. Unless it's a specific brand. It's I'm that bad guys. I'm that bad. Like peanut butter. Um, I got. I used to love Peter Pan peanut butter. Um, I got it. And it tasted so sweet to me. I was like. Ugh, absolutely not anymore. So I think the only kind of peanut butter. I'm going to be able to eat is Jif peanut butter. But I'm kind of afraid to eat Jif right now. After the. Um. After the recall. Um, kind of the same way Neurodivergent says no. I mean, it's... I don't know if it if it's that or not. But, yeah, it's... There are very certain things that I just cannot eat. Like, um... Cereal's another good example. Um, I grew up eating only very specific types of cereal. Um, because my mom had very strict, you can have this... You can, uh, and you can't have this. I don't know why you're not going to work. Thank you. He kind of just glitched there. Um, so yeah, so like the cereal growing up was, it had to be under one gram of fat and 10 grams of sugar. So that limits 90% of, 95% of all cereal in the US. The only cereal that we were allowed to have was we had Cheerios, we had, um, we did have Frosted Mini Wheats. She would make an example, uh, an exception for that, uh, because that was my dad's favorite cereal, and, um, I really liked it, um, but the wheat part was what she really liked about it. Um, we had a lot of plain Rice Krispies, um, I think I was allowed Kix cereal, um, 
Special K was allowed, Corn Flakes was allowed, which there's no money in the world that will get me to eat Corn Flakes. No money in the world. Um, but yeah, but most of my cereal was the bland stuff. So, um, on our birthdays, we got what was called the birthday cereal. And I still do this to this day, guys. To this day, I still do this. It has been, like, a long time since I lived at home. And, um, mom was buying the groceries. But I would have the birthday cereal. To where we got to pick any cereal we wanted. No, no, um, restrictions. Um, and it worked out because my older brother's birthday was a month before mine. A month and three days before mine. So... We would just have finished up his and gotten a nice little break of about two weeks-ish. And then we'd have my cereal. It was so great. Um, but as I got to be an adult and I started buying my own cereal, I was like, I'm going to eat, try all these cereals I never had before. I actually found that the store brand is so much more sugary than the um, name brand version. And it was so weird. It was so weird to think about that. It was just so weird. All right, so do you eat ranch on pizza? Nope. Better question. Better question for when this one is done. Do you fold your pizza? A cereal is funky for you. Have to have brand name cereal, Rice Krispies, but off-brand Fruit Loops. Really? Really? So like the Cheerios, I will eat the dry Cheerios plain as a snack. I will 100% eat them plain as a snack. 100%. I will sit there and just pop them back like I'm a toddler. But they're good. I, I don't get why people say they taste like cardboard. They're good. They're, they've got the perfect crunch. The absolute perfect crunch. Um, so it depends on the crust. Okay, so what... Is it like... A, are you saying like large like a thick crust or um a thin crust because if it's a thin crust i could see it i could definitely see it i don't fold my pizza unless the the um pizza slice is too big for my hand to hold it that's that's the requirement for me is can i hold the piece of pizza in my hand all right so 64 percent of you want to eat ranch on pizza all right that's fair that's fair. Uh, who told you that he said cardboard? The basic Cheerios. Oh, everybody did at school. Like they said, why would the, the main thing was like, why are you eating those that taste like cardboard? And I'm like, but it's good. It doesn't taste like cardboard. It's good. What is ranch? Um, how do you describe ranch? Hold on. Let me see if I can get a definition of ranch. All right, so ranch dressing um, is a salad dressing. Okay, so it's made from buttermilk, salt, garlic, onion, mustard, herbs, and spices um, mixed into a, a mayonnaise sauce. I'm going to pass on that. Yeah, so... so um, Here's a recipe. So you whisk together mayonnaise, sour cream, and milk. Add dill, parsley, chives, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper, lemon, and mix it all together. Uh, yeah, short sure, brunette. Yeah, I think that's the best way. Yeah. No, no. Although I have been told that I'm not, I'm un-American because I don't like ranch. I'm like, I'm okay with that. I'm more than okay with that. Wait, why is there trash right here? Who put trash on my floor? Weirdos? Uh, ranch is one of those things to just go with everything. I I don't know. I don't know. No, I think I think because it's got mayonnaise in it. I think it's because it's got mayonnaise in it, and I absolutely cannot stand mayonnaise. Absolutely cannot stand mayonnaise. Uh, your favorite weird food combo is rice, ranch, and soy sauce. What? 
rice, ranch, and soy sauce? <laughs> that short circuited my brain. Um, and hi, Ladybug, and thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Welcome on in. I'm sorry, my brain is struggling to process this. this is a, that is a that is a really weird food combination. Um, and honestly, it sounds like one of those food combinations that you have to like. There has to be a perfect set of circumstances for it to taste delicious. Yeah, it's it sounds like it's one of those things that it's just like there has to be a perfect set of circumstances. Otherwise, you're just like what. Oh, uh, you did it by accident once and haven't looked back. Okay, okay. Um, you also don't like ranch. It's definitely a Midwestern sin. Right, Hannah? Yes. Um, it's, so not liking ranch and not liking sour cream seem to be two huge Midwestern sins that I am 100% guilty of. 100% guilty of. You're straight up shame for it. Yeah. At this point, I'm just, they don't shame me for not liking specific things. I get shamed for not liking anything. It's so sad, guys. It's so sad. Um, and, and, you know, the one who does it the most is Mama Bella. She's the one who shames me the most. She'll say, she'll send me text messages like, I'm making this for dinner. I, if you liked it, I would say come over, but I know you don't like this. And I'm like, you're dangling free food in front of me knowing that I don't like what you're offering. Thanks. And then when I say that to her, she just laughs and says that I need to improve my taste buds. And then I'm like, you, I'm like, this sucks. This sucks. Uh, you could live without sour cream. Okay. All right. Oh, yes. The poll for do you fold your pizza? I'm going to go with sometimes. Um... Oh, so um, what do you what do you guys consider a pizza slice? Do you consider like a piece like the square pizza? Do you consider it to only be a big slice if it's like the size of your head? Uh, do you consider it to be like the normal like um, stereotypical pizza slice? What do you, what do you, what is your definition of that of a slice of pizza? Mhm. Mm uh, your your kid still calls Cheerios uh ohs. Oh, because she constantly spilled them. <gasps> That's really cool. Oh, we got promoted. Nice. And we got a bonus. Very nice. Very nice. Now we're not going to be working all night until 4 a.m. Uh, throw that away, please. And go to sleep. Oh, wait. You're almost done. So turn, turn that off. And then you can... Basically, she played video games the entire time he was gone. That's a mood. We have gone down the rabbit hole. Of course we have, Patty Lobster. Of course we have. What? Why not? It's Friday. Why not? We'll go down the food rabbit hole. Sure. Although I think the weirdest food that I ever ate, and I can't do it now. Like, I, I tried to eat it somewhat recently, and I about vomited. Um, but I would put vanilla yogurt in a tortilla, wrap it up, and I would call it my yogurt tortillas. And I would just sit and eat them. And that was my favorite after school snack. Like I said, I tried it recently and I went, oh God, no. It was a, oh why? Why did I ever think that was, that was good? Because it, it really was not. Don't try it. I don't recommend it. Um, yeah, d just don't. Just don't. Don't. Yeah. Although I think my hatred for sour cream comes from my older brother. Um, whenever we would go to a buffet, he would try to trick me into eating something gross. Um, and we had gotten ice cream and he was looking for the whipped cream. Um, and he put sour cream on his ice cream instead and I was mimicking him. Um, so he was eating it and acting like it tasted wonderful. And... I ate it and I, uh, I was so upset. 
<laughs> so upset. It's like the ultimate, ultimate food betrayal when you think it's going to be whipped cream, but it's actually sour cream. And thank you, Bruno. Thank you. Yes, it is half decorated. Uh, we will be fully decorating it here shortly. Um, but yeah, it's, it's meant to be an orangey kitchen. Orangey kitchen. And it's fall, which is the perfect season for this generation. And hi, Queen Aritivo. How are you? How's your day going? Yes. Food's the one thing that can bring a bunch of people together. We'd love to have you join Punchlines. Sure. No, we're not having a club gathering. I don't know what it's for, but sure, we'll, we'll have her join. Yes, the, um... The fridge is from Jungle Adventure, and the, um... Kitchen stove is from the Kitchen Stuff Pack. I don't remember what the Stuff Pack is called. What is the Stuff Pack called? It is from... It's Kitchen Something. Wait, hold on. Oh, Cool Kitchen. I was like, why don't I see it? Yeah, it's called Cool Kitchen. Yeah, so it is called Cool Kitchen. Um, it comes in a variety of different colors. So it comes in the default gray, a white, a brownish, a brown, a black. Kind of like an olive brown. Um, deep red, deep blue, and orange. So it comes in a couple different colors. Uh, yes, they have gold bars in the household inventory. We'll put them out. Um, and then this right here is from Jungle Adventure. And this comes in black, white, gray, brown, like blue, blue, uh, mint, turquoise, orange, like a greeny mint, actually. That's more of a mint than that, but yeah. Then we have a yellow, a red, and then a blue. So yeah, there's there's a lot of cool stuff. But yes, they, they have gold bars in their inventory now. They're only worth 890 though. Hold on, why can't I put it on? Oh, I guess you're putting it up there. All right. Way to brag. You've got gold bars. All right, Scar. Whatever you have to say. Uh, what's my favorite expansion pack? Ooh. That's a good question. Um. I think my favorite expansion pack would have to be... Hmm. I'm torn between cottage living and island living. Honestly. I'm torn between those two as my favorites. Um, island living, I, I just, because I love everything about summer and islands and all of that. Absolutely love it. Um, the build by of island living, though, I'm not as big of a fan of. Um, and cottage living, I just, I love it. Um... I just, that one, I feel like it wasn't flushed out as much as it could have been. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think those two would be my top two favorites. Um, honorable mentions would be Cats and Dogs. Um, even though the build by, for the most part, on Cats and Dogs is crap. Um, it's all mismatched. It's, there's no way to make it a cohesive thing. Um, if you use Cats and Dogs as an accent... Uh, to the other stuff that you have for build by it's perfect um, but it's not like a build by star pack um, but I also like discover University too I but that one again it's not flushed out as much as I would want it um, I like seasons just because of the seasons 
gameplay wise it's great so uh do i use cc i use some cc i'm just getting back into using cc i was very anti using cc on stream but now i'm like i want to start using cc again so yeah Oh, when were, are we going to get horses? I I don't know. I honestly don't know if they will give us horses. Um, I know it was in the coding once upon a time, but they since took it out. So I don't know if they'll ever give us horses. It'd be cool, though. It'd be really cool. What's got you in a tizzy, Scar? Oh, you need fun. Well, eat your brownie and go play a game. Yeah, eat, eat your brownie and go play a game. Bellabot, read the room. Now is not the time. Read the room, please, my dear. Um, But yeah. the So, uh, cats and dogs told us that we were getting um, country, uh, country uh, we were getting the cottage living. Uh, because they, they put a farmland in it. Um, I really think that um that was supposed to be the hint for a pack that came out sooner um but things happened to where they had to release other packs first instead so yeah i i i really do think that cottage living was supposed to come out sooner than it did because they put like almost everything that they featured in cottage living um, had a hint towards it from the cats and dogs world. So, yeah, I, I feel like it was meant to come out sooner. I'm glad we finally got it, though. I'm glad we finally got it. And y'all, we are almost at 350 vats of popcorn being thrown at Bellabot. She's, um, having issues in the discord. Can I please fix her? Can I please fix the bot? The poor bot. She be broke. She be really broke. All right. Okay. It's Sunday. Um, she's done. So, um, go risky woohoo, please. You failed at soccer, but go risky woohoo. They're going to risky woohoo every day until she's pregnant. Wyatt and Sam would say no. I, yes, I know. I know they would say no. But. I mean. The poor bot deserves a break. Kenzie would probably say no too. I don't know about Frost. Frost, I don't know. I mean, well. It's more, we're almost at 350, so I'm trying to plant the seed of fixing it. Because I already know I'm going to get outvoted. Every time I try to fix the dang bot, I get outvoted. So, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, we're risky woohooing. Once you're done, you can take a shower. We're risky woohooing. We're going to risky woohoo every single day until she gets pregnant, guys. All right, clean up, please. And then let's find out. Dang it! All right. All right, this, this is not fair. This is not fair. Thank you for the lurk, Blue Jay. Yes, can we please ban meetings? Thank you, Bex. Thank you, thank you. You're telling me no. Don't, don't, no. Do not summon. Do not summon. Ah, I'm getting ratted out, guys. A zero percent chance of becoming pregnant. Well, I, I, mm. we want her to have the kiddos. 
I want her to have the twins. All right, we're going to do another period check. Because their, their, their lifespans are so short. So short. Um, period tracker. Do your period tracker, then you can take your trash out. All right, period tracker, please give me good news. Good news. We want good news. Baby soon? Baby? Baby? I, we still have a couple more days. We have a, still have a couple more days. Okay. Is there a way to change that, though? I want to know. Does anyone know about Wonderful Whims if you can change stuff like that? Can you change when they're, pre like, they're, how, they're pe how the periods work? Pregnancy settings. Okay, menstrual cycle settings. All right, no, we're gonna go. We're gonna do extreme boost, extreme so high, and then nope. Automatic, no. We're we're gonna we're gonna set it to. Short. We're gonna set it to short. Just means we'll have to get more of those. All right. That should work. Wait, other settings. No, no, we're good on that. We're good on that. Okay. Is this slightly cheating? Maybe. Wait, she's still, she's on her period now? Wait, they, they made her go on her period now. What? Ah. Oh. Uh, Kenzie said she'll pop in just to tell you not to fix my what? Kenzie better not. Kenzie better go take care of herself. Uh, yes. <laughs> Still four days. You know what? You know what? This is ridiculous. Why can't I get her to have a per have the baby yet? Ah, and thank you for the Lord Casey Raven. Oh, you love watching CC in action, but would never be brave enough to do it. So I love using the mods and such. I just don't know how to do most of this stuff. So I'm like, all right. Okay, so let's see. Settings control. No. Let's man. see. Sabine! Is it twin time already? We are trying, but thank you for that. If you'd like to choose a sticker color, um, I have orange, pink, and yellow today. Um, and thank you for the lurk munchkin. Time for some pizza. Ooh, what kind of pizza? Gotta let us know what kind of pizza. But thank you for that. I am trying to see how to figure out okay, menstrual cycle. All right, let's see. Nope. Like, I still want her to have the menstrual cycle, but... I don't know how all this goes. Why can't I choose that? Oh, wait, here we go. Override. No, we want to get rid of that. Ah! You have to restart the game? All right. We're going to restart the game because I want twins. I want the twins. This is the only time you're going to hear me say I want twins. And hi, Frozen Raspberry. 
Ah, uh, let me think it's slightly spicy chicken pizza. Nice! Let's go pink. We shall go pink. Alright, so... While this is restarting... Because it's being a bit rude. While this is restarting, I'm going to do a quick eye break. So I'm going to put you guys on words on stream for this. Uh, you guys know the rules. If you complete four rounds before I get back, then you will make me do a spicy. So, get ready. And I want to see if you guys can if you guys can beat me back. Okay? As always, I will wait until... It starts before I head out, so that way it is fair. But good luck. Um, and Boho Hippie, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. All right, good luck, guys. Good luck.
All right. Which one is this? Which one is this? Yeah, I'm no help. Um, it would be... So it'd be a T-A or R-O. Woad? What is a woad? A taro! Nice! Nice! You guys got all of them! Congrats! Give yourself a huge round of applause. A huge, huge, huge round of applause for that one. You guys did amazing! You guys are so special. Smart. So smart. Massive round of applause for that. Massive. You guys did wonderful. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, Sabine, I'm no good at helping with words on stream. I think I've gotten maybe two words total the entire time I've ever played words on stream and other people's streams. And that's only because, like, I'll look at it and I'll be like, wait a minute. Didn't they do get this? Yeah. Yeah. We have a, a visitor. He's just hanging and chilling out. I see. You still have your trazzy eyes, don't you? Yeah, you still have your trazzy eyes. It's okay. Go to sleep. Don't give me that ear. He just looked at me and, and moved his ear. That's him sassing when he doesn't have the energy to... Uh, sass yeah yeah so yes so it looks like i got back just in time to prevent myself from having to do a spicy so i am happy i am very happy very 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 happy so all right i think i have the game back up and running we'll see um, and hi, 420 lover. Welcome on in. I hope your day is going fantastic. Um, as for not having audio, that is perfectly fine. That's why I have captions on my, um, all of my streams. So that way, if you can't hear, you can read. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I believe if you just hover over the screen, um, on the bottom, it'll have, like, next to where you clip, um, it'll have a captions thing pop up. Which sometimes the captions does me dirty, y'all. Like, sometimes real dirty. I'll say something and it'll, like, completely mangle what I'm saying. And I'm like, I already have a hard enough time Englishing. Like, yeah, you, you don't need to do me that dirty. You don't need to do me that dirty. But, all right. And hi, Chrissy. Welcome on in. How are you? I hope your day's going fantastic. Happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. All right. I think we're in time. I think let's try to go back in and let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. We're fingers crossing, guys, because we want twins. Come on, thank you. This is the only time you're going to hear me say that I want twins. Go go woohoo again. Yes, we're married to him. We're married to him. Of course we're friends. All right, go go woohoo, go go do your go do your your woohooing, and and thank you. Yes, so um, I believe this is the cottage living here. But how did the captions accurately accurately get the word Englishing? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think it's somewhat starting to learn what I'm saying. Throws in that hashtag triplets juju. You can throw it in all you want, 007. Thank you for those biddies. But unfortunately for this gen, um, we have to have twins. It is in the rules to have twins for this generation. Oh, you made a werewolf teenager today. She's a runaway kid. Ooh. Ooh. I, I can see so many storylines that you can play with that. I'm considering doing the runaway teen uh, challenge at some point. I'm considering doing the Runaway Teen one. Um, and Haley, we're doing Not So Berry right now. So we're in the orange gen of Not So Berry, which is Generation 6, I believe. Is it? 
What generation is it? Yes, it is six. It is six. All right. Let's see. Did it work? Did it work? No, it did not work. Ah. All right, this 50% risky woohoo is not working. I think I think we need to try for baby. I think we need to try for baby. I think I think we need to. Do we try for baby? So, do we try for baby not yet, meaning we wait till Wednesday or do it now? Mhm. Mm yeah. Uh, for now, no challenges trying to figure out what werewolves can do. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. You have such a hard time doing challenges because you can't help yourself but cheat. That is true. That is fair. That is fair. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of those, I don't know. It's, it's fun. Challenges, I think, are fun. Um, you just have to find a secondary storyline to go with your challenge because, um... If you, if you don't have that, then you get bored with it very, very easily. Um, no, I do not have the Layla and Lot trade on. So, um, that only helps if they actually get pregnant. Um, getting them to get pregnant is where we're struggling. Are you doing the millionaire one? Okay, okay. Um, I've, I've gotten to the millionaire status so many times in save files that I kind of just give up on it and I don't ever really do it anymore. Because it just feels too easy. Adelaide. Howada? Maybe I think is how it's pronounced. I don't know, but go for it. Uh, she started with nothing. Um, you're a terrible cheater, so usually this never works. Yeah, so the best way, guys, the best way and number one most effective way of earning money um is to um go to the romance festival and um when you're at the romance festival pick all the plants because it'll have like the pomegranate it'll have um birds of paradise plant those um for the first couple harvest just harvest and replant and then at that point just sell all the produce that you, um, all the fruits and flowers that you grow each day. And you'll make so much money. So much money with it. Um, is that one of the scenarios in game? The millionaire thing? I think it might be. I think it might be. Actually, I would be very interested to know how quickly I can become a millionaire based off of those uh, sell, like growing those two things. We might try that because I do owe you guys a scenario thing. So we might try that. We might try that. All right. So the majority of you are voting that we have a baby. All right. Go try for baby. I mean, they've been woohooing like bunnies. So it should work. Um, but yes, those, those two plants are going to be your most your highest return on plants doing that i got to six hundred thousand in my first hundred baby challenge that i streamed um in 20 kids so it was very possible and that was with me not knowing what i was doing all right woohoo away do your thing do your thing and if she does not get pregnant with this then i don't know what we're gonna do Yeet the game out the window. No, no, not really. Because that would mean I'd have to yeet the computer too. And that'd be bad. We do not want to yeet the window. Not not the window. We don't want to yeet the computer out the window. We'll yeet the save file out the window. But we won't yeet the whole computer. Um, You did it too, but with the writing skill. Nice, nice. I don't think I've ever gotten like any other skills. To that point. All right, come here and take a pregnancy test. You have the money for it. She's mad about being on a period, though, so she's not supposed to be. But I changed the settings. All right, come on. There we go. All right, so she is pregnant. That means, guys, that means that we need to um 
We we need to um Bex if you want to throw the any quotes in mod chat. Um if if you don't know how to do the quotes, uh Sam or Kenzie can teach you how. All right. So All right, go ahead and vote for which one you would like. Do we want what gender twins? Do we want a boy and a girl, uh, two boys or two girls? Go ahead and vote in the poll. If you do not see this poll, you may need to refresh. I was hoping we'd give birth to them today, but apparently this may or may not happen. Oh, you were trying trying painting. Okay, at first it was dating alone, but it wasn't very lucrative. Yeah, it when you're painting, you have to do it with the street gallery. Otherwise, it's not worth it at all. Uh, what is the next gen? The next gen is pink. So the next gen is pink to where they are a writer. And is a hopeless romantic, but is also unflirty. Yeah, so... Gonna be interesting for sure. Um, and is it Arcara? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Welcome on in. Yeah, so the next generation is the pink generation. Um She is pregnant, which is good. Uh, but this is the this is the pink gen's room right now. So yes. Alright, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna change the um the wonderful whims period stuff back to normal um and hi tina welcome on in welcome on in and welcome on in uh, is our Clara. thank you uh welcome on in it's always wonderful to have new friends come in and hi sim richard uh, your teenager is klepto she accidentally took a book from school nah there's no accidental the accidental is only when you get caught for the kleptos i should say all right so do we do a boy girl or boy boy or girl girl Welcome back, Munchin. Welcome back. This is more than just slightly spicy. Oof. Oof. Yeah. All right. And the winner is... Girl, girl. So you, you want two girls. Okay. It was very close to a tie. It was. I was watching it like a hawk. All right. So we're going to have two girls then. That's exciting. I mean, it's kind of nice because the last two gens were boys. Was it the last two? Hold on. I don't remember. Yes, 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 yes. So the last two were boys. So it started off with Julep, um, and then it went to Ambrose, and then Ambrose had Leo, and then Leo had all girls. Um... And then it went to Cas then it went to Serena. And then it went to Casper and now Scar. So whichever one of these babies, um Hold on, offspring. Alright, there we go. Um, so whichever one is born first and we name first will be the heir for this one. Yes, so, yes, that's what we'll do. Of course, of course, of course. All right, so we have the two. Now I need to change the period system back. All right, settings. Um... Menstrual cycle settings... Nope. Here we go. Duration. Automatic. All right. There we go. We'll change all the other stuff back. Okay, good. I got it. I got it. I figured it out. Oh, hey. She has a good reputation. And they just became good friends. I thought they were good friends. Oh, no. That's right. They were. And then they got into an argument. All right. That's what it was. That's what it was. Okie doke. 
Yes, if you do quote, just a regular exclamation point quote, it will give you a random quote. Are you just no, are you just eating brownies just to eat? No, if you're going to do that, you're going to bake. Um Oh, I need potatoes. Cuz I'm a potato cheesy bread. Enjoy your burb, enjoy your burb. Yes, guys, if you have not gotten a drink um or a snack in a while, this is your PSA to go and do that. I have my pretzels. Yeah. Oh, yeah, ben Benny. I love my Benny. I love my Benny. I don't... I don't remember that quote, Manda. Um, the potato? Oh, um, that is a bit alert. That is that is a bit alert. We we recorded it at one point and it is a bit alert. Wait, why are you getting a cooking? Oh, she's grilling plantains, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that was when we were trying to kill my rags to riches sim. Yep, we were testing to see how far we could push him to his limits in the name of science. I don't know where the food went. I don't know where that... She just pulled that out of nowhere. I don't know. Alright, get leftovers. Eat, eat something from there. Yep, Carrot Top. That was when my um, 100 baby sim um, kid died. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an interesting day. Um, he liked to walk around the kitchen naked. That's what made him very interesting. Yep. All right, polish to perfection. And, um, Leah, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. No, it was a different kid. It was a different kid, Ladybug. It was from the second, um, 100 baby challenge that I, I did. Um, that was with, uh, Daphne and Arabella. It was one of Arabella's kids. Um, he came out looking like, exactly like a carrot top did. Um, so I dressed him as a carrot. And we started calling him Carrot Top. Um, however, his name was actually Sebastian. Yes, his name was actually Sebastian. Um. I wonder... Hold on, where's the, where's the, here it is. Yeah, so it's still like this. So this is from a, um. Flea market gone, like flea market that they never cleaned up after. I wonder if we can, um, sell stuff here. I wonder. Wait, why are you being mean? Why are you being mean to her? I don't know. Yeah, it was... Yeah, so there's been a lot of kids that have come through my area. Like, come through these houses. These sim houses. Yeah. How do I get the baking skill up quick? Is there, is there only, like... Let's see. Okay, so, can you sell baked goods? I mean, okay, they're making out, sure. It doesn't tell me that I can sell baked goods. All right, so, okay, so hold on, it says... Um, that we can decorate cookies, cakes, and cupcakes. Okay, that could be fun. That could be fun. Welcome back, Bex. Welcome back. Books, yeah, I think books are going to be the only other way to do it. So, come here. 
I need you to read something. Baking volume two, I think. Wait, no, hold on. We, we thought about this. So, um, first four. Okay. So th you have to read the, read the first one, um, until you get to level five. Okay. Now he's sitting in his kiddo's room reading. All right. So we're going to have him read that and see what, see how that gets it. Um, wait, drink a potion. Which potion? Is it one that we can purchase from the reward store? Um, oh, speed reader. No, that may not work. There was one to where they learn a lot quickly. Hmm. I don't know. I don't see it. But I just realized we're on the wrong. We, we need to be disliked by four sims. I've forgotten about this. Yeah. So, um, I've forgotten about this part. Yeah. Yeah, I've forgotten about this. So we need to have multiple declared enemy. Ah, oh, I forgot. So we still have a lot left to do for him. But how quick is this getting your spaking skill up? Oh, not at all. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So once you get to level four, then you don't. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do, Double Seven. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Excuse me. No. Excuse you. Absolutely not. You need to go read. You need to go read. I don't care if you want to go eat. You need to go read your book. Who's being noisy again? I don't know who's being noisy. Someone's being no noisy again. But, okay. Plus, guys, they're only in this house until for another week. They're only in this apartment for another week. So then we'll be moving elsewhere. But I don't know where we're going to move them to. Because the rules are you just live in a needs TLC apartment for the entire young adult life. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And hi, Maddie. How are you? Um, we just had, we just finally got pregnant with twins. Most of today has been us trying to get pregnant with twins. So we finally got to that point. And we are going to be having twin girls. So we finally got to that point. Um, we're trying to get Scar's skill up, but it's going very slowly. Um, we may not be able to work on this until we can get to, uh, move into a house because I think we'll be putting the cupcake factory in. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll have to get the cupcake factory in. Um, and hi, Satellite Bunny. Yes, so they did get married. They got married in the last episode. Mm -hmm. And Scar may or may not have dumped his other girlfriends at the wedding. I said may or may not. Yep, may or may not. All right, socialize. Uh, find a pen pal. I need you to find pen pals because um, we still have a lot of them we need to go through. And then you can write a research paper. Did you even finish that? You did not. 
All right, fine. We're just going to bake, and if it goes bad, it goes bad. Sourdough loaf. Wait, can you buy a potato? Can you buy a potato? Because I need you to... Uh, that would be wonderful. Purchase gifts. Potato. I want a potato. Potato, potato. Ah, potato! Give me, like, five potatoes. All right, we'll get, we'll get ten. Because I clicked too fast. But, okay. Once you're done with that, we're just going to have him bake up a storm. Yes, he'll, he'll, he'll have food missing, but, you know, it's fine. All right, sweet potato pie. Yeah, we're just going to have him bake away, because why not? Honestly, he supposedly loves baking, so... All right, she's in a good mood, but she needs to go. To oh, dear Lord, go to sleep. No more research paper. Go to sleep. You have to work soon. Oh, gosh, you have to work in four hours, and you're getting tired. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right, we are going to send her to sleep. Hopefully, she wakes up in time for work. Hopefully. All right, Scar, what's your what's your baking stuff looking like? Oh, that looks really good. That looks really good. It's a sourdough loaf. Okay. Put that in the fridge. Now he's making a pie. I think it was a... Sweet potato pie, maybe? What are you baking? Yes, sweet potato pie. But, okay, but it had me get a regular potato, not a sweet potato. Someone explain this to me. This makes no sense. Alright, make your stuff. I love how all the ovens glitch when they're trying to close it up. All right, finish this up. Let's see what it what does it look like? What does it look like? Huh. All right. Go to sleep. <laughs> go to sl everybody just go to sleep. Um because she has to work very soon. In 2 hours. It's 7 a.m. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Use the bathroom and come get some get some leftovers. That's not getting leftovers. Oh dear, this is the problem. This is the problem we're going to run into if he's making all these things. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Um, you're wondering that too? Need a regular potato to make sweet potato pie, right? I don't eat sweet potatoes, but even I know that they're like vastly different from regular potatoes. And that's not a problem, Maddie. That's not a problem. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. All right. I don't know if you're going to have time to eat or not. I'm hoping so. Because I'd love to send you to... You broke the toilet? I'm going to have to have you fix the toilet before you can go pee. I'm sorry. All right, finish that and then go to work. Way to go for you. I mean, it's a it's a nice nice apartment. It's just things break and things are weird. Oh, morning sickness. You almost done with your food? I'm glad you like in, you like smelling lettuce. Yeah, I'm glad you like smelling lettuce, but I'll take care of that for you. Okay. She's just so cute. I can't get over how cute she is. She's just so cute. All right, Scars. Fiona's off to work. Great. Uh, work hard, because you're going to get promoted anyway. Maybe you'll skip a couple steps. That'd be great. 
That would be wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Hey, you'll be fine. Fix the toilet. If you pee, there's a shower right there. I need your handiness skill to be up to like level 7 or 8, please. Alright, use the bathroom. Why are you yelling? It's open. Thank you. Not you already looking up pink baby girl names? Um, so the next one is, let's see, the next gen is writer names. So, um, we're gonna go with, um, we're gonna name it after, um, let's go with book characters. Yeah, let's go with book characters. And Leela, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Yes, so, um... Creative char creative characters um, that are um, book characters. Yeah. Creative book characters. Yep. That's what we'll do. That is what we will do. All right. All right, um, Petunia's one you like so far. It's pink and a book character. Okay, okay. And thank you for the lurk. Thank you for the lurk. Um, yeah, I think that'd be the best way because so, um, she's gonna be in the business career, um, and will also be an author as well. So as an adult, so she'll start off in the business career, but as an adult is when she'll finally decide to go after being a writer. Okie doke. So, and then it says you grew up poor. No, you're, a, that's, no, <laughs> I don't know what, what world you live in, but you, no, it would, they wouldn't be poor. Yeah, I mean, we might live in a house that's, like, too, ex like, super expensive. But, yeah, you never know. You never know. All right, so, you need baking and charisma. Let's just work on your charisma today. Because I don't think you have to go to work. Three days, yeah. You don't, you don't go to work for three days. So, get your charisma up. Because we have to master baking, charisma, and mischief in this, in this generation. Um... And then, we also need, I think it was a level 7 handiness. Oh, uh, let's see. Criminal Career Sims 4. Let's look and see. I think it was a, I think I wrote down a level 7 for the boss. Yeah, level, uh, level 6. And we're at a level six. So anything else we get handiness wise is just an added bonus. However, I would really like to get to a level seven. No, level, level seven. Level eight handiness because that's when you can do both um, of the upgrades on the beds. And that'll help us overall. So. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'll, be, that'll be good. That'll be good for us. Um, so yeah, he's at a level seven, um, which is the getaway driver. Nice, charisma level six. Um, yeah, so he's the getaway driver, which is, um, yeah, so we're, we're almost there. We're almost there, actually, in completing this, because we have all the requirements to complete the career now. So there we go. I will not name a child Dolores. No. 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 Splat the toad. Splat the toad. Splat the toad. I... No. No. Could not. Now, okay, now my... The exception would be... The exception would be... If, if we're... If we're... Um, hold on.
Hang on. Ah! Did our power go out again? Our power went out again. Hold on. Um, hold on. I have to say, I have to, um... I have, I, if, I, I will consider if we name a, if we name the character with this, with this person in mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh dear, it came back on. All right, I think it'll let me do it with this. If not, then I'll have to do something else, but... All right, I will name it if we uh, if we create a character off of her. If, if we create a Dolores off of her, I may I may accept it. I may accept it. Um, and Banana, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. And thank you, thank you. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. So yes, if if we if we do this version. I will consider it. I will consider it. All right, Scar. I'm going to need you to complain to the... No, attempt to repair first. But we're going to save before we do that. Uh, because I don't want you to die. Even though, even though, actually, if you die, that's no big deal. Um, we'll just bring you back to life. Or I'll add you to the household as a ghost and still make you complete stuff as a ghost. Um, but... Yeah. Um, of all the people, I know, right? It was, I think it was just he made the right connections. Um, and yes, she is. So we're not asking for names just yet. Um, we're just talking about like possible names that are coming up. Um, and they were saying how, um, they wanted to name the pink gen heir Dolores. And I was like, absolutely not. Did we get it? Yes. It worked. All right, perfect. Practice speech. There we go. Um, yes, Lauren Lopez, who is a fun fact. If you guys know anything about the Harry Potter musical, um, basically the actors that played Draco Malfoy and um, Ron Weasley are getting married. So if you are a Draco and Ron shipper, congratulations. Like that's a real life thing that's come to that's happening. So, actually, are they married yet? I don't know if they're married yet. I just know that they got engaged somewhat recently. I don't, I don't, I haven't paid that close of attention. But honestly, like, Lauren Lopez is a treasure. She is a treasure. Uh, you made the Umbridge Manor into um, Umbridge Manor. Uh, the Umbridge Manor into Umbridge Manor. And even made her selling house. Oh, Daenerys, that's fantastic. Yes, Voldy was my favorite. Like, I mean... He teased a bit of leg and it was fantastic. You could end up naming this Jen Toadette. No. No, 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 no. No. Hi, Wyatt. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Mm -mm. All right. She's, he's just being the house husband standing talking to himself in front of a mirror while his wife is at work. I really kind of wish we could go to this this one. Cause I'm curious to see what the what her job duties entail. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. The song between Voldy and Coral was epic. It was. It was. It was so epic. But I loved Coral Mort. I loved Coral Mort. Like that was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. It was. Like in the re and the reunion. After being separated, <laughs> was adorable. Um, so basically what we're doing is each generation um, has a bit of a theme that goes with it. So for this generation, um, the orange generation, Scar and his brother, Freddy, we picked villain names. So um, the villain name that was picked for we, that one was Scar. And then Freddy is named after Freddy Krueger. Um, and in previous ones, previous generations, um, oh, I was gonna say, I don't know why I said, oh, Julep, who was the start of our generation, start of the whole thing, um, Julep is short for Mint Julep, because she was the Mint generation, 
Um, and then we have Ambrose, which just because Rose is in the name. Um, that was just the Rose Gen. Um, and then we have Leo because Leo was the space generation. And um, that was basically just what we went with. Um, and then for the gray generation, we went with... Um, uh, what was it was um athletes because she was an athlete so we went with Serena I believe it was uh after Serena Williams was the uh, inspiration for that um the cool part is she ended up marrying someone named Darian so it ended up becoming like a Sailor Moon type thing um but then she had Tyrion and Casper and I don't remember uh I think it was like doctors related theme that we went with for that um and then casper had the villains and then um scar is going to have the um hopeless romantic writers and that'll be the pink gen so yeah we can't we try to theme everything and then like in the elemental legacy like we'll choose names that mean whatever element that we are getting ready to start the gen the next gen for so that way it kind of keeps it more fun and there's a meaning behind each of the names. And there's a story that goes with it. Because if you do, if you just randomly name a sim something, there's no fun story that goes with their names. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll do it for the job or aspiration. Yeah, the, the writers, the next gen, they go into business, but they want to be a writer. Um, and, yeah, so that... That's kind of what they're named after what they'll eventually become. Um, and Wyatt, you can't just come in and then try to run away. Someone drag Wyatt back here, please. Exactly, Katros, exactly. Also, um, something you might find interesting, Katros, is I don't know if you can see it. No, they're kind of they're kind of smushed to the corner. I have scarfy socks. I have scarfy socks and I have a pig farts um acceptance letter so yeah i i was very excited for that um i had the original star kid lounge pants um but somebody when he was a puppy yes you uh somebody when was he was a puppy chewed the entire butt out so yeah can't wear those anymore you're clearly still here. No, I told them to drag you back because I know I know it was funny. That's basically why. Um, and Koala Wims, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um, and so, yes, we're going to have two girls because we had to cheat the uh, pregnancy. And I let chat vote on if we're going to have boys or girls or a boy and a girl. And it was almost tied with boy and boy, girl and girl, girl. So it ended up going to girl, girl. You are not in busy mod. I was farther up in chat. Oh my gosh. Foodies unite. Nice. Okay. Um, are you telling me that you're almost done with charisma for the day? Yeah. Uh, you're not going to get to level seven before your wife gets home, but I would love it if you could get like super close. Bamboo Sika. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, you were talking about Harry Potter at work today and someone mentioned Hufflepuff. No one got your reference when you said they're particularly good finders. Yes. Um, I, I always say whenever we're talking about that, I'm always just like, find? And no one gets my references and it's so sad. I hate it. All right, Fiona's been promoted to medical school student. She'll now make an additional 10 smallings per hour for a grand total of totally five, 25 smallings per hour. That sucks. All right, well, what do you got to do for your next thing? What do you got to do for your next thing? Logic and two research papers. All right. All right. Uh, go play. Go play a game. Are you done with your charisma yet? Can you be done? I'm kind of over you talking to yourself in the mirror. Exactly, banana. Exactly. Exactly. It is. And Jasmine, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who's calling us? Sure, that works. All right, I need you. <laughs> we we let food spoil. 
Oops, that's bad. That's bad. So do that, and then I'll let you get leftovers. There we go. All right, we good. We good. I uh, used to love Harry Potter as a kid. Not as much these days, though. Uh, there's actually a guy on TikTok who's watching the movies for the first time. And just seeing the, like, all the emotions play out as he's re-watching the series, um, that's kind of rekindled the magic behind it for me. Because it's just, it's so pure. He's had no spoilers. He has no idea what's about to happen. And last I saw, he was in, um... Order of the Phoenix. And yeah, it was, it was, it's just, it's so pure. And I just, I love it for him because like once you've read the books and you've seen the movies or vice or you've done one or the other, you kind of get your opinions set on the books and the movies, but seeing somebody go through and watch it for the first time, it's, it's just, it's so cool. Uh, you want someone to watch someone do that, but with Star Wars. True. True. I've only seen the first, the original three, the prequel, and one of the newer movies. I'm very far behind on Star Wars, and I'm also very far behind on, um, on Marvel. I don't know if I'll ever catch up on those. You're going to see The Cursed Child on Sunday. Nice, nice. I'm not a big fan of Cursed Child because of how they marketed it. They marketed it as being written by her and um, being a canon part of the um, of the series when it's actually a fan book. That doesn't follow the series uh, canonically at all. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like there could there were a lot better fan fictions that could have been written and published as canon that actually followed like the natural progression of things. Um, Order of the Phoenix is the worst one. Hmm. I don't know if Order of the Phoenix was the I would have to I would have to disagree. I'd say um Goblet of Fire was the worst one. I'd have to say Goblet of Fire was the worst one. Yeah, I, I would have to say Goblet of Fire is. Yeah. Um, tempted to grab a second Red Bull? Do it. It's a Friday, Zen Goddess. Do it. Do it. I mean, you can always sleep sleep on, in on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, Goblet of Fire was by far the worst. Goblet of Fire was only written, guys to close a plot hole from the first book. The first or second book, I don't remember. It was one of the two. It was one of the early books. It was written literally to close a plot hole and it's the second biggest book. It really is. And even then, like, uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of, I, I have a lot of feelings about Goblet of Fire. Um, Goblet of Fire is by far the worst, um, of the, um, how many are there? Eight video games? Like the years, whatever. It's by far the worst one. Um, I played it once on stream. I ended up doing like an eight hour stream trying to just play through the whole thing. Because I hated it so much. But I was like, I have to complete it. Yes. Uh, Goblet of Fire was the reason you stopped watching the movies. It made you so confused. Skim through Goblet of Fire and just to get to the rest of them. I will say, though, um, Order of the Phoenix arguably um, could have been one of the worst ones. Um, and it ranks up there as being one of the worst ones. Because that's when she started taking away people that I don't agree with. I'm still salty over um, Sirius and Fred. I will never forgive for Fred. Ever. Ever. There is no forgiveness for that. Yes, the Harry Potter Lego games hit different. Yes. Um, I do want to go back through and try to 100% the Lego games. Because the Lego Harry Potter ones. Because we did that once. Um, but I kind of like to do it again. Because it was really fun. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe I'll start like a weekend thing to where we can do Lego Harry Potter games on the weekend. That could be fun. That could be fun. You haven't read any of the books either. Yeah, so 
I I highly recommend the books. However, I do know that the books are very long. Um, the first three books are easy reads. The fourth book gets a little complicated. Um, but I will say the fourth movie, aka the movie that nobody got a haircut for, um, does have the does have the first appearance of Sassy Harry. It does have the first appearance of Sassy Harry. I will I will give it that. I will give it that. Um, Azkaban is the best one. I agree. Fully agree. It is the best book, the best movie, and the best of the video games. It's just across the board the best one. Hands down. Hands down. Um, and which one is it? Uh, Potterless. I will write that, I will mark that, uh, name down, Katros. Um, and I will take a look and see. And, and see, and see what it's all about. I will see what that's all about. It sounds, it sounds interesting. It really does. Oh, uh, you played one of the official video games, but the best Harry Potter game is the Lego one. The Lego one is fun because you get to smash things with magic. And you can't do that in the regular games. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I know the movies needed more sassy Harry. Uh, because Harry was master of sass. And, like, the line, there's no need to call me sir, yeah. professor. Like, <laughs> how did he have the kahunas to say that to him? I don't know how he had the, how he did, but, yeah. Um, if you have to pee, go pee! Thank you! Half-Blood Prince was trippy. It was. It was. I agree. Uh, the last book is the best book, but you wouldn't recommend an adult to read them if you haven't read them before. Yeah. Scar, bud, are you okay? Go to sleep, please. I, I don't know what's wrong with you. Go to sleep, please. Go to sleep, please. Um, yes, in the pincer. <laughs> I don't like the spiders part, and I always skip through that, but, like, I had to, like, yeah, that's that's my favorite part of him. That is. That is. Uh, you ought to rewatch the films. Yes, so I have done the 19 and a half hour um, challenge. I have done the 19 and a half hour challenge. Yes. It was really hard. I fell asleep during like about half hour of one of the movies, but I did it. I did it. Um, and yes, I do have autonomy on. I do have autonomy on. Um, and yes, guys, can we please get all the mod love in a chat? All the mod love in chat. We did have a mod love time redemption. So if you are following, you have access to my mod love emote. So please go ahead and put that in chat. So we give the mods all the love, all the love in the world. And yes, I agree. Remus was a sad death. Remus was a very sad death. Um, my favorite characters are Fred and George and Sirius Black. Those are my those are my top three. But the twins will always hold a very special place in my heart. I love the twins, and they were robbed in the book series. They were not given the attention they deserved. Absolutely, they were not. We do not. Nope. Uh, Sam, what's the excuse me? We're giving love. We're giving love. Um, your oldest seven has seen the first two movies. Totally love them. Have to find the books so you can read books with her. Yes, I highly recommend it. Um, I actually have a misprint fourth book. I did nothing. I did nothing. Nope. Uh, your husband and I are going to name your first child either Luna or Cedric. See, those are... I, I love those names. I love those names. Although it was about 15 years ago, I was in the store, and I heard somebody call it, talking to their, their kid, and their kid was named Hermione, and I was just like, it has begun. But then, like, I people don't really name their kids after it much anymore. Or if they have, like, they don't acknowledge it. I did nothing. I am, I am Angel, Sam. I am, I am Angel. I am Angel. I know. 
the, the fact that one of the twins, like the, all the ear humor was fantastic. The ear humor was fantastic. And yes, they sell really pretty uh, versions of the books now. Highly recommend that. Highly recommend that. If they don't sell them in your country or n in a bookstore near you, um, do it online. Find it online. Um, you just saw the ATM in the bedroom. Oh, the, he got this because he was... Um... Okay, why are you offending your wife? Make a, like... All right. Apologize in bed. Go do that. Wait. Wait. No, she's going to work. Okay, fine. It's fine. It's fine. They'll apologize in bed afterwards. Um, both your cats are named after Harry Potter characters. Noise, noise. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Like, I, I love the series. Um, I have three different um, e-readers on my phone. So I have the fan fiction reader. I have AO3. And I also have like a um, one where you like download stuff and um, can uh, <laughs> read books that you've downloaded. And all three of them currently have Harry Potter fan fictions on there. So I think it's safe to say that I read a lot of Harry Potter fan fiction. Um, yes, the ATM is from the career. He got that from his job. Yep, he got it from his job. Fan fiction scare you? Of any fan fiction, there's always that one fan fiction. Oh, yeah. So you just have to learn what the tags are and learn, like, what's safe. The Honestly, the best place nowadays to find recommendations um, on what is safe fan fiction to read and what the tags actually mean um, is um, really TikTok. Really TikTok. Um, I am a sucker for, let's see, basically like the Slytherins, like when the Slytherins are paired with, um, Harry or Hermione. I don't know what it is, but I'm real. I really love, um, Harry and Daphne. Um, big dreary fan, big dreary fan. Also, I am a very big Dropple fan. Even though I know Tom hates that ship. I don't care. I don't care. If you don't if you don't understand the Drapple thing, um it's from Prisoner of Azkaban. And I think it's Prisoner of Azkaban. No, it might be from No, I think it is Prisoner of Azkaban. It's where whatever whatever movie scene it is to where Draco is eating a green apple. Just just type in dra Drapple on Google and it'll come up. Trust me, you'll love it. It is fantastic. The commentary behind that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, so I like the Harry and, Harry and Daphne, um, Drary. Um, I like Theodore Knott pairings for some reason. I don't know. Just the way that the personality that they expanded on with him, I really enjoyed that. Um, those are kind of my main ones. I'll read some Dramione. Um, mostly a lot of like, um, sure, go for it. Um, a lot of like independent Harry to where like he actually thinks for himself. Um, ones that actually go through and explore like the pure blood lifestyle. Um, the aristocracy, pure blood, pure blood lifestyle that is referenced in the books, but they don't actually like do anything with. Um, I really love those. Those are a lot of fun. Those are a lot of fun to read. Oh, hey! Scar figured out wellness. Way to go. Way to go, Scar. I leave him be for a moment and he discovers wellness. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Um, but yeah, no, there's a, quite a few ones. And actually, in the Discord, we even have a Harry Potter channel. So if you have any Harry Potter fan fictions or such, uh, feel free to drop it in there. There's, yeah... There's, there's a lot of fun stuff. Um, I really like the Founders Era fanfics too. So if you ever come across a Founders Era fanfic, please send it my way. I will read it. I will read it. Um, but yes, I will say if you're new to fanfiction, the best thing is to learn the t what the tags mean. And that way you don't get any nasty surprises. Because there, there can be some really interesting 
things behind the tags that um, if you're not prepared, then yeah. You just got to be prepared for what you see. You haven't read any fan fiction? Honestly, I love it. Um, the thing that I like about it the most is that there's a lot of freedom to um, either redo a certain section. Oh, I forgot to pay my bills. That's my bad. Pay your bills. Thank you. Um... So you'll either get to re explore something that was brushed over on the books in the in the movies or books, um, uh, what what do you want? I don't know what you want, but no, thank you. Is she trying to talk to us? She's talking to us. All right, all right. Uh, you used to read Jonas Brothers fan fiction because you was that girl. What I will say about fan fiction and real life people is yes, I was one of those girls. Um, no, no one will be able to find my fan fiction. I made sure to scrub it from the internet like years ago. The only way to read it is if you break into my house and you find out what closet it's in. Um, but yes, uh, Haley, I, I was exactly, exactly like you. Um, yeah. Yeah. I may have taken it a step further, but I mean, yeah. Like, we didn't do anything, like, too weird, but... I was a young teenager. I was a preteen when I wrote those. And they are fully scrubbed from the internet, so no amount of digging is ever going to find them. I scrubbed them before Wayback Machine came into existence. Yes. Because I've even used Wayback Machine to try to find it and it, you, it can't. Really? Why are you scratchy and sick? Wait, do we have medicine? Please tell me I already have medicine. I do not. Wait a minute. No, I might in this. I might in this. Do I have medicine? I do not. Okay. Oh, well, we can take those back in now. Yeah, we can take those back in. But, yes. There there was definitely a time in my life that I, I wrote some pretty interesting stuff. Pretty pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, um, I did used to write Glee fan fiction. That has also been scrubbed mostly from the internet. Um, there is one that I cannot remember the name of it, so... Um, I was not able to scrub that from the internet, but close enough. Close enough. Alright, go to, go to sleep and sleep that off. Sleep that off. Thank you. Uh, you only ever read anything between fictional characters? Yeah. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Yeah, there's... Also, too, a lot of fan fiction writers, when they start writing young, you think you're older than you are. Mm-hmm. Oh, your teacher found your notebook after class and read it? Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. No. No, that, that is why all of my stuff is now kept in a binder. Um, and it does not leave my house. Uh, you helped your high school boyfriend write some spicy Percy Jackson fanfic. I've never read Percy Jackson fanfic. I don't, I, yeah, I, I didn't even think to ever look that up. That's fantastic, though. That is fantastic, though. You make them inside your head, nobody can get inside your head. Fair. That is fair. That is fair. That is fair. Um, Darla, you and your friends in school wrote a fanfic for Charmed. Ooh! Oh, there's so many ways that that could... That a story like that could go. Oh, I am intrigued. I am intrigued. So, uh, was it the original original? With the original three? Or was it with the later three? Yeah, that's that's the question. Is which, which version of the three? 
And not the brand new stuff. The brand new, the brand new stuff is crap. Yeah. The brand new stuff is absolutely terrible. Absolutely horrible. I watched, I was able to find a clip of it online and no. Sure, you can talk to him after you pee though. Thank you. Oh, are you serious? We have the rotten eggs again? We do not talk about the new charm that does not exist. I mean, we have to somewhat acknowledge that it's there, but only so that way we can say it does not exist. Yeah, just just so we can remind people that it is that it is not good. Why can't I? There we go. Attempt to repair. Go mop that up. Thank you. Uh, you're a big Supernatural fan, but can't bring yourself to read any fix. Uh, Haley, don't. That was where I learned um, that tagging in any sort of fanfix is scary. And it's the fault of the Supernatural fandom. Because they have some creative, creative minds. In a good or bad way, I can't say. Because I don't know any enough about Supernatural to say either way. Um, but I do know that... Um, yeah, the Supernatural fans are scary. Supernatural fans are scary. They are very scary. Um... You know someone IRL who's written an entire book by hand for a fanfic? Nice! Nice. Um, yeah, see, that's, that is one of the good parts about, um, fan fiction is most of the time, that is how writers start. Um, and it allows them to try new things. Um, and then they'll come out with like an actual, like original story, all their own that they can market to publishers or even self-publish. So, there are benefits to writing fan fiction. Usually, it's um, a stepping stone towards, like, getting out the writing kinks before you publish your own book, which is amazing. <laughs> Whew! That, that was pain. That was pain. I felt it coming for, like, 20 minutes, too. Um, yeah, they're definitely intense. Agreed. Agreed. They're definitely intense. Those, those fandoms are, yeah. And yeah, that's, yeah, I, th I think, I think just like, also too, people are a lot more open to giving positive, um, constructive feedback when they're reading a fanfic over if they're reading someone's novel. Okay, how do you, how are you still gross? You just took medicine. I don't, I don't get you, Scar. I don't, I don't get you. I don't understand you. I don't understand this guy. All right, well, you know what? You can just go practice your speech. That When do you work? He thinks he's all that in a bag of chips. Yeah, he thinks he's all that in a bag of chips. You know what, guys? I feel like we missed out on an opportunity with this guy, with Scar. We should have named him Gru. We should have named him Gru. Yep, we should have. We should have. 100%. We missed out, we missed out on a huge opportunity. We, we missed out on a, on a huge opportunity for this. Yeah. He is just such a groove. He is. But like. I mean, then we could have gotten, then we could have gotten a yellow dog and named it a mint and just named it like Bob or something. And thank you for the Lurk Leanne Pickles. Thank you. Ah, we, so we can't do that. Unfortunately, banana because the next generation is pink. <laughs> Um, but, see, that would have been amazing. And I'm just now thinking of this. Ah, see, now I'm mad at myself. 
Now I'm really mad at myself because this would have been a fantastic gen if we had if we had said that our orange gen was Gru because he's a failed evil person. That's so sad. That is so sad. Ooh, Tiffany, what you want? Um. Tiffany, sweetheart, you officiated our wedding. What is this? I, I, mmm. No. Let's just be friends. That's awkward. I know, the officiant falling in love with the groom. That's... That's something, all right. That's definitely something. Um, and Daenerys, maybe, maybe. I so I still need to sit down and, and uh, work on the the challenges that are currently on YouTube. So, yeah. I I wait. I really need to get back and start editing those again. Um, once I finish the challenges that we currently have on there, I may do a, maybe, I may do a not so very for YouTube as well. I don't know. It'll depend. It'll depend. We'll see. All right. Are you, how, I know you're itchy. It's fine. You're fine. You'll get over it. The baking is the hardest thing. But also, I was hoping we'd have kiddos here soon why no kiddos what pregnant what hold on she's oh a neighbor adopted a furry friend apparently okay so in two hours so 7 p.m is when she'll be in the third trimester so wednesday is when she gives birth good to know um, and thank you for the pasta checks on goddess. Yes, guys, if we have not already, make sure that you are stretching, uh, popping your neck, rolling your neck out, all that stuff, fixing your posture, all the things. Alternatively, if you do not want to do that, you can go into your kitchen and check on your pasta to make sure that your pasta is not lonely in the pantry. Mm -hmm. um, how many challenges am I doing right now t uh, in total? So, on stream right now, we have Elemental Legacy and Not So Berry. Um, we will be picking up 100 Baby here in about a month. Um, and then on YouTube, I have another Elemental Legacy. And then I have a Rags to Riches. So, I have, I have four getting ready to be five in total. Yes. I need to just sit and finish the Rags to Riches because I'm about halfway through that. Um, this YouTube kind of just fell to the wayside because I had a bunch of stuff happen offline that's needed my attention. But seeing as um, Apollo is really is almost fully recovered, um, he gets most, if not almost all his privileges back on Tuesday. Um, definitely by next Saturday, he'll have everything back. Um, then I'll be able to focus a lot more on stuff like YouTube and TikTok and such. So... Yeah, because it's, it's, the past three months have been basically, like, me focusing, like, all my attention off stream on him and making sure that everything's going okay, because, like, yeah, it's, it's been, a, it's been a rough three months with him, so hopefully once we do that, then I can go through and finish all of that. Um, I do have, so Keegan, had, in the rags to riches, Keegan has gotten to where, um, he can now afford a house. Ooh, she did some superb work. Nice, nice. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, he is he's ready to afford a house. Um, and then he's going to get married. Um, I already know who he's going to get married to. And, um, yeah, we'll go, we'll go from there. 
Um, and you brought your box back. Nice, nice. Was your mac and cheese good to go? I haven't had mac and cheese in a while, but like I'm over the box mac and cheese. Um, but I don't know how to make like my own mac and cheese. So, yeah, I don't know how to make my own to where it tastes good. Okay, so these are all good. These are all good. Um, no, I don't want to hang out with you. But I do... Is there a way to still apologize in bed? She's asleep. Okay, fair. Okay, fair. We'll let her sleep. We'll let her sleep. Um, please. Please. I would, I would love it. I would love it. So, like... I know there's a good way to do it. I just, honestly, I need someone to teach me how to make mac and cheese. If someone can teach me how to make mac and cheese, then, like, I will make it and I will eat nothing but mac and cheese. Because I absolutely love it. Um, but I've never been able to make it to where it tastes as good as my friends. Because I had a friend that brought mac and cheese over and I got myself sick. Uh, because that was all I ate that entire day was I just sat there and I ate the mac and cheese because it was so good. Um, I would I would absolutely love that. Absolutely love that because I am a sucker for mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm such a sucker for it. Um, yeah, so Duck Duck, the thing with mac and cheese though... And I didn't, I didn't realize this until I saw a news article where these... Uh, a food pantry was complaining that people were donating mac and cheese to them um, because they said that it's incomplete um, and people are making it harder on them because they can't make it unless they have milk and butter. And I was like, you eat your mac and cheese? You make mac and cheese with milk and butter? Like box mac and cheese? I had no idea that you make it with milk and butter. Um, because... And, like, I asked my I asked Mama Bell about this, and Mama Bell thought that I was losing my mind because she said she's always made it with milk and butter. Um, but when I moved out, I guess maybe, like, when I first started making mac and cheese when I first moved out, I didn't have milk and butter in my fridge at the time. Um, so I had started using water, and I just made it with water, mixed it with water. And that was it. So now when I make it with milk and, and butter, it just, like, the box mac and cheese just tastes plasticky to me now. So, but yeah, it was always, like, I always made box mac and cheese with, with water. And I was just like, what sort of bougie mac and cheese are these people eating? Because then if you look on the box, it does say you can make, you can substitute it with water. It does say on some boxes. So, yeah. You, you just, you, you learn, you learn things. And Chrissy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Welcome on in. Uh, make a cheese sauce with flour and lots of milk and cheese. Okay. Okay. Um, and Tegan, thank you so much for, uh, T sorry. Uh, Tegan, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. I'm sorry, Bex. I'm sorry. Uh, the craft dinner style with the powdered cheese needs milk and butter. Uh, you buy the Velveeta shells and cheese and put green chilies in it. I will pass on the chili. Um, but yeah, the, um, yeah, I, I didn't know for the longest time that you had to use milk and butter with your mac and cheese. Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea. No idea. It was just one of those things that I was just like, oh, I was today years old when I learned. And then when Mama Bella found out that I didn't, that I had forgotten or didn't know, ah, it went out again, didn't it? You know what? We're going to leave it out. Did you not pee? Go pee. Girl, go pee. You need to pee. Go pee. What the heck? Um, first no cobbler. Now you found out you may make, I make back and cheese with water. Yes. Ex and exactly, banana. Exactly. Ramen. Ramen is good. Ramen is good. Ramen is good. 
So it's like, so I know how to cook certain things, but I'm a baker, not a chef. So I bake things like cookies and such. I don't, yeah, apart from that, yeah. I just never really, yeah, it just, it, it never really crossed my mind and I just went with it. And I guess I got in the habit of it. And then next thing I know, I'm like finding out that I'm doing it wrong. And I'm like, oh, oops. Uh, your hunger comes out at midnight. That's fair. That is fair. That is fair. That is definitely a mood. I have done that before. I have decided that I'm not going to eat during the day. And then I wake up at like midnight or like I'm getting ready to go to bed. And I just realize, oh, I'm starving. I need to eat something. That is why I always keep a packet of crackers next to my bed at night so I can just munch on crackers while I'm reading in bed. And then I have to vacuum my bed out in the morning because it's always like full of crumbs and it's disgusting. So <laughs> probably shouldn't do that. But that is that is one of my guilty habits is munching on a snack in bed while reading a book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, munching on a snack in bed. Nothing better. Nothing better. Oh, and thanks, <laughs> you're going to hate me for saying this. Um, I don't freeze food because to me, it changes the flavor of food. So, um, like, I won't eat if vegetable, like, I won't buy frozen vegetables um, because they taste like there's a, there's an, an extra taste to them that I don't, that I cannot stand. I just don't like it. Said you're going to hate me for this. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like even when I freeze food, like I have to be very careful what I freeze and how long it's frozen for, uh, because certain foods, like the flavor will just go away completely. It, it, so it's like the flavor gets sucked out of it during the freezing process, or it like takes on this plasticky flavor. I don't know what it is. My taste buds are very weird. We've established this. My taste buds are terrible. They really, really are. They really are. At this rate, y'all, Vex is going to turn in her mod sword. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, Like macaroni and cheese microwaved? Oh, do not. Do not do that. No. No. If someone tells you that you can microwave macaroni and cheese, they are lying to you is a flat out flat out lie oh wait really quick say before you go do that but yeah no it is a flat out lie you cannot even if you have the microwave bowl it does not work it does not work at all nope um i know what you mean it happens to you when eating noodles that you kept from the day before when you freeze hamburger meat yes yeah, so if it's already if it's like raw hamburger meat or like raw chicken that's fine that's fine um, and typically, yes, Bex, um, I have started using the air fryer more, um, since I got one for Christmas. Um, but yeah, um, typically in general, um, I mostly use the fridge and the microwave and that's it. The oven is used for, um, oh. Complain to the landlord. Yeah, com complain to the landlord and then come get food. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm just yeah my 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 food my food preferences are very weird. They are very weird. Um, wait, you're why? What are you too cheap for? Oh, goat milk. Yeah, goat milk is expensive. I had to buy goat milk because we thought that might help Apollo and it didn't. And it was, yeah, it was not worth it. It was not worth it. Well, no, so like, what did I, what did we, so we tried something else. So we tried to freeze something. Oh, we tried to freeze cabbage, like shredded cabbage. And then put it in the, in the pan to, to saute it. And it was so soggy and sticky it was disgusting i could not do it like i love cabbage i love cabbage i will i will eat shredded cabbage it's probably when we have her dinner tonight um 
but if it's in the microwave, oh, not, if, not microwave, if it's in the freezer and it comes out and you try to do it, no. No, no, no. Does not work. Does not work. Yeah. I don't know. I, like I said, I'm very odd in my flavor, in my, like, taste, like, what I'll eat. All right, good. She fixed it. Way to go, way to go. Uh, but yes, as you guys can see, my I am I am very odd when it comes to what I eat. Uh, you don't drink, you cook with it. I've heard, so almond milk I've heard is a good substitute. Goat milk I've heard is a good substitute. Um, there's a couple different good substitutes though, yeah. There's a couple different good substitutes. Um, I don't drink milk at all because dairy and I don't get along, but I love, um, like my shredded Colby Jack cheese. Yes. I love, I love my shredded Colby Jack's cheese. Very, very, very delicious. Very delicious. Um, is the landlord? The landlord might be. I wasn't paying close enough attention. Um, Fiona, our wife is. She should be giving birth sometime tonight. Wait. 17 hours for him tonight. <gasps> he has to take a um, vacation day. He has to take family leave today. Yeah, so take family leave. Um, She needs to take family leave today because she's going to um, give birth. In the middle of all of that. So, yeah, let's have her do that. That would probably be for the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you've cooked with almond, soy, and oat milk. Soy milk is your favorite because it mimics cow milk the best when heating. Okay, yeah, so I know when you're baking with the different versions of milk, it's very different. Um, and you have to compensate for that. But I don't know. I typically just go with skim milk. <laughs> it's usually the easiest to compensate for. Uh, hemp and oat in a cup of tea. Can't get into any other milk other than the dairy for cereal. That's fair. That's fair. Um, but I did find out that most people are lactose intolerant. We just don't know. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. No, you can't dislike writing. You just have to pee. Go pee. Go pee and you can go practice your speech. Anything to get your charisma up. Yeah, you, you need your charisma. We also need to figure out your baking. All right, come back and write your paper. I'm so nice to these sims. Uh, she should be giving birth um, within about 16 sim hours. Uh, you're lactose sensitive, but it's on the lower end of the spectrum. Yeah, so it's apparently a spectrum. Apparently, our bodies are not meant to practice lactose. Practice. Process. Words, words. Need to focus on my words. Um, but yeah. It's it's definitely very interesting. You learn a lot when you go down rabbit holes as to why you're not feeling good. You really do. You really do. Alright, so she's gotta write another one of these, which um the psychologist career guys, that is a CC trait. That's right, CC job. Um we added in some CC jobs for this. I used to work for a daycare with a ton of health substitutions. It was fun to experiment with different options to replicate regular foods like mac and cheese. That would be kind of fun. That would be kind of fun. If, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go practice lactose. Wyatt, sit down. Mm-mm. All right, hold on. Career. Write a research paper. What are you... Why are you still itchy? You're not sick anymore. Knock off the itchy. Thank you. Uh, you're lactose intolerant. Sometimes you react badly. Other times you don't relax, react at all. Yeah, that's... It's one of those weird food things. One of those weird food things. 100% grease is the word. Grease is the word. If you don't understand that reference, I'm sorry. Your parents failed you. Yes, if you if you don't understand that reference, um, 
Your parents failed you. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know that that that's kind. It's kind. Grace is underrated. It's underrated nowadays. Yeah. It's it's very much underrated. Very 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 much anime. Yeah. Very 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 much underrated. I wish they would bring it back. Well. It's more, it's more, it's replicated now. Because, like, seriously, High School Musical is nothing more than, like, a Grease replica. But yet, High School Musical blew up for some reason. Do we got rats again? Ugh, we got rats again. Hold on, we gotta get rid of the rats. Obliterate! Exactly, exactly. Um, and some, some, I think there are a couple people that like anime, um, but I don't know much about anime, so unfortunately I cannot give much insight on that. I used to saw Grease for the first time last month. It's a wonderful movie. Wonderful movie. Yeah, it's, it's, it was very well done. Very, very, very well done. Why are you panicking? You already got rid of them, crazy person. All right, so I think, yeah, we're going to have you go do that. I think because she's still got a ways to go in her pregnancy, I think that's a good place for us to wrap up um, this episode so that way we can get uh, start the next episode and we have babies next episode. <laughs> and yes, go away, girl. Yes, uh, we are in a Needs TLC apartment. Uh, this apartment will give us will give you two rat holes. So we have a rat hole here, and we also have a rat hole here next to the bed. Um, additionally, it will spawn cockroaches, and over here, it will shut the power off, and it will also um, cause the pipes to start leaking. And then over here in this corner where the shower is, um, something funky will start to smell like rotten eggs. So you're always having to fix stuff. Yes. Yes, you're all you're always having to fix stuff with it. But all right, so she is pregnant. We do know she's pregnant with two girls. So your your jobs will be to think about girl names uh, for the writer generation over the weekend um, because we are going to come back to Not So Berry on Monday. So all right, I have quite I have a couple of people that I have to get popcorn after stream. Uh, so our top five for words today is fearsome, frozen raspberry, Hannah, Amanda, and ladybug. So congrats, congrats to all of you guys. I will be giving you your popcorn after stream, um, as well as Coda Bear who won our bingo today, um, and our three marble winners. So Cheyenne, Purple, and Sinead, and then Purple, you also will be getting additional popcorn because you set a new record. So a lot of fun ways to earn popcorn here. A lot of fun ways to do that. So round of applause for all of our popcorn winners. Um, and for those who don't know what popcorn is, popcorn is our viewer stuff. Our viewer points, um, you use that for sound commands, uh, bragging rights. Um, at some point, we may do giveaways during stream. Um, if we ever do giveaways during stream, you will be using your popcorn to enter for those. So round of applause for them and all of that. But let us see. Let us see. Okie doke, okie doke. Let me see. Blah. I cannot see because my stuff's in the way. There we go. There we go. All right. So let's see. Um, let me think. There was something big I wanted to tell you. Oh, the stuff for the Sims for the next uh, Life on the Boardwalk. I will be hosting that today. And Ella, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um, if you have not joined the Discord, there is the Discord stuff. That is where the first place you're going to find anything um, related to life on the boardwalk or any of my other stuff. Um, so I will be posting that today. Um, so that way you guys have the weekend to work on that. Um, we also have the show that you can work on this weekend. So make sure that you, if you're interested in doing a shell, um, there is that right there. Uh, we will be doing tours on the 24th and 25th, um, which is two weeks. 
So it's a shorter turnaround, um, but that's my fault. I do apologize for that. Um, but that's in order so that way we're able to get the two-year shell out and, and give you guys time to work on the two-year shell. So those are the big things. So keep an eye out if you are a create a sim person uh, because I have create a sim challenge. There's also, which I forgot to do the um, thing for, which I forgot to do the command for that. Um, but then there is also the uh, challenge room if you want to do that. So you're going to look up Bella Boardwalk for um, the challenge room if you want to create a challenge room for life on the boardwalk. For those that don't know what life on the boardwalk is, it is a basically a game that I created within The Sims. It is a board game um, to where eight Sims will walk the boardwalk, which is what we're calling the actual like layout of the board game. And they will compete and try to see who can rack up the most points and money by the end. Uh, the creator of the winning Sim, uh, will be able to win a kit. So that's also really, really fun. Um, so you get to cheer your, your fellow, uh, cabana members on. And, uh, if there's one that you want to help out, there are ways to trigger a plot twist to kind of give other sims a bit of a boost upwards for that. So, um, and Chicken Lake, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Welcome on in, welcome on in. So, yes, that's, that's kind of the all the fun stuff we have going on right now. So, um, I will post the schedule probably tomorrow in the Discord. So, that'll be, yeah, I'll post the schedule tomorrow. That way you guys know I'll post all this other stuff. So, yeah, that, that should be a lot of fun. But let me see, let me see, let me see. Where am where are we headed off to today? Oh wow. Okay. Okay. It looks like Fridays are, are becoming variety days for for all my friends. Okie doke. This should be fun. Um, let's see. Okay. Um you know what? Let's go give this person some love. I meant to raid them the other day and they raided out before I could raid them. So let's go give this person some love. They have raided us before. Um, so uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is they're playing. Um, but know that they're a wonderful streamer. I, I love them. I will sometimes lurk in their streams. So um, I think you guys will love them as well. Um, he's building something. So... Um, but yes, go ahead and grab your raid messages and let's go give this person some love and have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. A wonderful weekend. Uh, stay safe, stay dry. If it's raining by you, stay cool. If it's really, really hot and yeah, just, just have some fun and enjoy yourselves. But I will see you guys all back here tomorrow, not tomorrow, on Monday and we'll have another, another fun week. So, all right. Go ahead and grab your raid messages, and I will see you guys all back here next week, okay? Let me get that. There we go. All right. Grab those raid messages. Love you guys. I'll see you later. Okay? Bye. Travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart.